Hello lovies! In case you're wondering whose voice you hear each time you watch videos on this channel, well, that is my voice. And in case you're wondering who I am exactly, you may call me V. I'm a graduate of Master of Arts in English Language and Literature Teaching. I have 10 years of experience teaching in college. I used to be a broadcast DJ too, and I used to work for the business process outsourcing industry too. Right now, I'm a private tutor, business owner, and a young content creator here on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support. Keep on watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe. I'd love to do more videos for you guys. Happy learning! Much love! Mwah. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Learn With V. This is the Ask V segment. It is another live stream episode. Welcome. Kumusta po kayo, lovies? Today is July 27, 2020, and it's exactly 7.01 in the evening here in the Philippines, and I hope you are doing great. All right, we are simultaneously live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. And welcome to the show. This is being recorded and you may re-watch this at any time you want here on Facebook or on YouTube. And today I am really just so happy because we have reached the half 1,000 subscribers mark. At, as of the moment, we are at 510 subscribers. And I just want to say hello, what's up, to all those people who trusted me and, you know, subscribe to the channel. I love you for that. Thank you for your support. And also, I want to say a special hello to the following people. Let me just pull up the name. I want to say hello to all the workers at Far Eastern New Century Hoku Branch Taiwan Team C Worker especially to John. Thank you so much for the support that you are giving the channel. Ayan, once again, hello to Far Eastern New Century Hoku Branch Taiwan Team C Worker. What's up, you guys? I hope you are doing great. I hope you're all well. All right. And also, because we have reached the 510 subscribers mark, I am giving away cell phone loads tonight. Yay! Yep. So the mechanics is, if or are, if you will be giving us the best advice, the best comment, or the best opinion for tonight's discussion, I will be giving you a mobile load. I'm not going to say how much, but definitely I will contact you and let you know that you won. And then you give me your number so I could just, you know, auto load it directly to your mobile phone regardless of your service provider and so please do 
join us in the discussion you know comment your opinions your advice your thoughts your questions let us know that you are here all right and speaking of advice tonight we are going to discuss another interesting topic and it's a sensitive topic i must say and just a piece of disclaimer to everybody i am not a licensed therapist or a psychologist for that matter so all my opinions and my advice are just based on my own wisdom my own research and probably my experiences too and if your problem requires professional help or legal attention please seek professionals immediately nevertheless i hope that whatever we share to you tonight you will be able to learn a thing or a two learn a thing or two rather and also do not forget to let me know you're here drop your shout outs comments questions or opinions and you guys are all welcome all right for tonight the live stream topic is all about unhappy marriages like what i said the in the poster natin the person is married but he or she is unhappy so the question, the ultimate question is, should he or she stay in the relationship or should he or she let go of the relationship? All right. So let us know once again, if you are here, do not forget to drop your comments, your shout outs. We'll try to greet everybody. And as usual tonight, I have a co-host with me. Okay, resident co-host ko na siya actually. Uh, hindi na siya special guest, super resident co-host ko na siya. I always enjoy inviting him over because for one, uh, he's a graduate of psychology and he's a registered psychometrician. So whatever discussion we have, you know, we we may be backed up with science para sensible lagi yung discussion natin. And without much introduction sa aking co-host, here he is, Sir Andrew De Luna. <laughs> hello, Sir Andrew. <laughs> hello, hello, V, and hello to all of our uh, listeners and viewers around uh, the world. <laughs> Pero alam mo do sa introduction, nakakapresyos na wala kang malak. Bakit? Wala na. Credibility yung yung online. Okay lang yan. Alam naman nila na ikaw ay isang psychology graduate at isang registered psychometrician. So, alam mo, yung credibility mo, given na yun. Kahit, uh, <laughs> hindi, ko, hindi ko kasi masabi, hindi ko kasi masabi na you're a married one kasi you're not married. So, you know, your grounds for sharing your thoughts will be your profession. Ayan. <laughs> well, true. Pero yeah. yun nga, um, again, just to formalize everything, well, formal ko naman, no? Again, a very <laughs> uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. I hope all of you are safe, all of you are doing well, and all of you are healthy uh, and happy, of course. Yung importante dyan, kahit na alam natin magulong ngayon ang uh, buhay-buhay natin. I hope everyone is still happy. Yeah, and everybody is safe too, I hope. Yes. Yeah. And you know what to do? Pa- I'm sorry, you, uh, you were saying? Go ahead, go ahead. And no, I, please I, go I, ahead. I, I was, I, I, I heard your intro and may pa, may pa bong gang give away ka na na <laughs> Yes. I was just so happy today that we reached the 510 subscribers mark. Sabi ko nga, halfway through so 1,000 subscribers na minimum required. Oh, that's required nice. To yes. Congratulations, so, by the way. Thank you so much, so you, and it's yeah. <laughs> it's my way of thanking and giving back to the community that is helping me grow the channel. So, ayon. Pero syempre, they will not get it easily. <laughs> they have to join the discussion and they have to share with us their t- thoughts, opinions, and their own advice regarding the topic. And I was supposed yeah. to say that tonight is or today is July twenty seven, twenty twenty. Imagine. We only have how many days? Four or three days left? Or four days left? And it's August already. That yeah. quick. Ang bilis makalahati ng taon. <laughs> I know. Para makakatotoo yung meme na makikita na tayong lahat kapag Pasko na. No? 
I hopefully by Christmas naman wala na tong pandemya na and everything will go back hopefully. to normal. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And it only goes to show that even we are facing this pandemic right now, time flies too fast. Ibig sabihin, you know, we are killing it. We are still we slaying are, it. We are, we are. We are. We are uh -huh. very, very hopeful uh, because of our joint efforts, of course. And of course, yung mga frontliners natin, sila yung... Um, we, we highly uh, regard this kasi sila yung tumutulong sa sobrang malaki sa atin lahat. I know. And we are always thankful to our frontliners because, you know, they're always the ones who are at risk just to yes. protect everybody. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Ayan. So we are now 11,000 strong. There are 11,000 people watching us right now. <laughs> And I just want to say a quick hello to our early birds. We have Donnell Sampang Bison. Hello, thank you for joining us. Do you see them on your end, Sir, Sir Drew? Uh, actually, I can't. Uh, you dahil can't. Ikaw yung, yeah, ikaw yung main, so ikaw lang makakita niya. All right. I am actually looking at the live on Facebook using my, my, my mobile phone. So, yeah. Um, also, Marvin Kenneth Cruz Yalong is watching. Hello, Marvin. Juan Michael Rivera is also watching too. Thank you for joining the live. Clarissa Cortez. Hi, Clang. Thank you for joining the live. We have also a resident viewer, Wrestling Ibai. Hello, dear. Nice to see you again here on the live stream. Also another resident viewer, John Ursulino. Hello, John. I wanted to invite you over to this stream, so you're not married yet, but maybe you have some good inputs as well. Uh, later on when we start discussing the topic. And then we have Leia Liana Del Mundo Calma. Hello, Miss Calma. And then we also have, hey, coach, thank you for joining as early as now, Mark Anthony Apostol. I was supposed to invite him to, to join the live stream, but I think he has a, other things to attend to. But like promised, he said he will join and he will give us his comments in a while. And also, Vincent Howard Vergara is joined, has joined the live. So thank you very much to all of you who are here tonight. All right, awesome. Now, let's start immediately because this might be, you know, a full-packed discussion, a sensitive topic at that, but definitely an interesting one. Don't worry, kung hindi po kayo kasal, you're single, you're probably in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, this is also beneficial to you because... In the long run, you know, one of these days you will get married too if you decide to. And the tips or the advice that you may get from here may be helpful to you. So, yeah. And if you are married naman po, we encourage you to join, participate in the discussion because, because this is about us, married people. So, the topic for tonight again is this one. We are in a marriage, I suppose, that, you know, some of us who are watching right now, we are married people and we are experiencing a problem. That problem is this one. I am no longer happy in my mar marriage, so what must I do? Okay, Sir Drew, hindi na siya masaya sa kanya. Sa kaninong pagsasama bilang mag-asawa, ano ba ang dapat gawin? Yan. Bago nating sagutin yan, Sir Drew, may mga mm. ano, dala-dala tayong bala. <laughs> Oo, oh, yung mga bala natin, kailangan, kailangan ano na yan, ilatag at saka i-fire isa-isa <laughs> para properly guided tayo. Oo, uh -uh. ayan. Actually, parang medyo seminar type yung discussion natin tonight kasi meron tayong pa-powerpoint para lang guided yung discussion natin. <laughs> Lumilevel up tayo. Best to lumilevel up. <laughs> Uh oh, siempre naman. Improving by the day. Okay na, Sir Drew. Pwede na natin screen share niyan. Kasi ikaw yung may kapangyarihan mag-screen share. Ako wala. <laughs> ah, sige. So, so ako talaga? Oo, oh, oh, ikaw. Oh, sige, sige. Oh, wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Wait lang, ha? Kasi hindi. <laughs> bigla ako. Ako pala yung. Sa akin pala yung pangyarihan. Wait lang. <laughs> Nabigla ako. Sa'yo, sa'yo. Wait. Sure. Okay, gaya po nang sabi ko, do not forget, tonight I'll be giving away uh, mobile loads. So, kung gusto nyo pong makareceive ng free load, 
malaking tulong na yun, lalong-lalo na sa panahon ngayon na hindi po kayo masyadong nakakalabas para magpaload. Pwede nyo gamitin to sa mga live stream activities nyo or to call your friends and whatnot. While we are setting up the PowerPoint, I just want to say hello again to my friends in Taiwan. Far Eastern New Century Hoku Branch Taiwan Team C workers, hello sa inyong lahat. Thank you for watching the live right now. I hope you are in great condition as you watch the live. All right. Now I'm adding to the stream the PowerPoint. Well, are you seeing it by the way? I'm not seeing it yet. There you go. All right. Okay. Perfect. Yep. I suppose you will be the navigator for tonight, Sergio. Thank you so much for doing this. Ayan. Yeah, sure. So John Christian Pangan just uh, joined the live. Hello, John. Uh, kakahello ko lang sa iyong mga workmates, but let me say hello to them again. Uh, Far Eastern, New Century, Hoku Branch, Taiwan, Team C workers, hello to lahat. Hello to everybody. All right. Tonight, we are going to talk about unhappy marriages. Is it still worth fighting for or should we let it go? Okay. Before anything else, let us define first what marriage is. And there are a lot of definitions about marriage that we have on the PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay. The first definition of marriage that we have is that marriage is a noun, obviously, and it's a legal or formal recognition of a union between two people as partners in a personal relationship. Okay. Historically, in some jurisdictions, uh, specifically a union between a man and a woman. But since the world has changed, we keep on evolving. There are some places in the world that already consider or already have legalized marriage between the both sexes. Okay. But by definition, marriage is a legal and formal recognition of a union between two people as partners in a personal relationship. Whether that be a man or a woman, or a man and a man, and a woman and a woman. But if we strictly talk about marriage, well, obviously, it's a relationship, a legal and a formal one, between a man and a woman. With all due respect to our LGBTQ plus community. Okay, so that is the dictionary definition of marriage. And then in the Bible, marriage is defined as a covenant between a man and a woman and God. And it is considered to be one of the sacraments of life. Okay, so in the Bible, it's not just a union, but rather a covenant and a sacrament. And it involves God already. It's not just between a man and a woman or any couple for that matter, but it is involving God. Okay, in that covenant. That is the biblical definition of marriage. And then, since the second word that appears in the title is unhappy, right? And happiness means the feeling of not being satisfied or pleased with the situation. And they can be synonymous or it can be synonymous to the words sadness, depression, and misery. I guess, Sir Drew, it's all right if I remove the power point for now yes, because it's not yeah. scrolling yeah. yeah all right so sergio your thoughts on the definition of marriage and unhappiness well for one thing um we have many different ways of defining or if not many ways we have uh a basic um understanding of marriage and that is simply union between two people um mm -hmm. you can look at it in a um uh, that basic sense, or it could be in a very defined kanina, something that's very biblical. So it's 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 uh, um, a sac uh, you, could, you could refer to it as a, as a sacrament of union between uh, a man and a woman. Uh, right now, those for understanding because of the many things that we try to tie in with the word. Um, Ngayon natin siya nakikita ngayon ang, ang, ang marriage. It's, 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 even though we, we, we established that it is uh, it has some very maybe religious or even legal 
foundations, it is constantly changing as we move, as we progress. Uh, for an unhappiness, of course, that's that's just simply simply the opposite of happiness. So it's a state of uh, of you that you experience positive emotions. So these positive emotions would include uh, you being able to feel uh, love, for instance, you being able to feel comfort uh, with less regard to the emotions that you feel negatively. So, of course, yeah. if you're happy, you don't have to be able to do it. You don't have to be able to do it. All right. Yep. So, I guess we've already established the definition of what is marriage. Uh, the dictionary definition of it, even the biblical definition of it, and the feeling of unhappiness. Para lang yeah. out for to everybody. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now, before we answer, really, the ultimate question of what one must do kung hindi na siya masaya sa marriage niya, let's talk about first some myths. Yung mga kadalasang maling paniniwala ng karamihan tungkol sa buhay may asawa. Okay, I know you're not married yet, Sir Drew, and I am married, so I kind of feel that I have the advantage. You, yeah, <laughs> yeah. By by all means, the stage is yours. <laughs> I know, but you can always give us your your thoughts on this, naman. Anyway, we will not discuss them one by one, but we'll just you know give a rundown of them. Para lang naman, if you know our viewers agree with the following, you know, let us know on the chat box on the comment section. All right, if you agree with the following. So now we are on the myths. Yung mga maling paniniwala ng karamihan when it comes to married life. Okay, the first one is that it's always lovey-dovey. Ibig sabihin laging honeymoon stage. Laging malambing, laging masaya, walang problema. Uh, parang teenager, ayan. That's the first myth. A lot of people may believe or think that it's always lovey-dovey in marriage. And then the second one is that you actually married somebody you completely know. A lot of people think na kapag pinakasalan na nila yung tao, maybe they've been together for quite some time as boyfriends and girlfriends, pag pinakasalan na nila, nila kilalang kilalang kilala na nila yung tao. That is a myth. Okay. Later, Sergio, I'll ask you your thoughts, ha? <laughs> and then, the third Sige one lang. is that intimacy is constant. By intimacy, alam ko po, it's just 7.20 p.m. and there might be, you know, below 18 year, year, years old watching. Pag sinabi po nating intimacy, this is the uh, consummation, yung physical intimacy ng mag-asawa, so to speak. Okay? Hindi, uh, a myth is, laging meron. Laging merong intimacy. Okay? And then the fourth one is that you are always about each other. Ibig sabihin, hindi kayo nagsasawa sa isa't isa. And then another myth, responsibilities are always 50-50. May responsibility si Mr., merong responsibility si Mrs., at laging 50-50 yon. Arguments become less. Kapag mag-asawa, kumukunti ang mga pag-aaway. Kasi mag-asawa na kayo eh. Unlike pag mag-boyfriend at girlfriend, mas maraming away kasi nagkakapaan pa kayo, nag a pa sa isa't isa and all that. Or maybe you're not mature enough to deal with each other and so on and so forth. And then finances are not a problem. There's no privacy between the two of you if you are married. Fidelity is assured. Attraction to others is minimal or to none at all, and then you found somebody to spend the rest of your life with, and the last myth is marriage means forever. Sergio, your thoughts on this? Medyo na ano, may pressure pala kapag gawin yung mga topic, no? Although, it's, it, may pressure, pero it's at the same time kasi it's a very interesting topic kasi all of us, where we are, regardless of who who we are, we 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 somehow go through the process of of meeting someone, knowing the person, and eventually falling in love with her and and establish you know, a certain level of of um, uh, relationship with each other. Um, siguro I could uh, the first one would actually. 
kumbaga, dun ako mag-focus. Uh, mm-hmm. Go it, ahead. It, it, it would um, affect all of the things that you've mentioned a while ago. Nasabi mo na sa una, it's, it is always uh, uh, a lovey-dovey experience. Um, for one thing, let's, let's, um, tawag ito, let's try to clear that, uh, that, in 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 intimate relation uh, relationships um is, or it is not yet yeah, let's establish that it is not a fairy tale yun kasi yung ano natin yung understanding natin na uy uh, we were fed up with with uh cinderella about the little mermaid and everything became happily ever after everything is a fairy tale that you meet your prince charming or even your princess and and once that happens everything will become magical up, even up even up until the end let's let's establish mm-hmm. that the reality that it's not mm-hmm. your responsibilities it will not be 50 50 50. at the very most maybe uh 70 percent of it will be for the other person and the other remaining percent and that's for the other person um you won't stay intimate because mm-hmm. in the first place for love to happen it's not just about intimacy it's not just about you being connected person it's not just you be able to um try to um highlight uh, uh being close to that person or being able to bond with that person because that's the intimacy eh. Uh, let's uh, mm-hmm. let me try to connect what you've said. Na intimacy, baka inisip nila it's it's something that you. Ani ani ginamit ginamit mo. Um, you, Which you, one? You use the word uh, regarding intimacy. Uh, that it's always constant. That's always uh, the other there. One. Um, but sa hindi siya yung inisip nila parang. Um, uh, the consummation. I, yeah, that one. Na, uh, Hindi ganun lang sabihin ng intimacy. It refers to closeness, feelings of closeness, connectedness, um, yung bondedness ninyo in that loving relationship. So, hindi lang siya yung, uh, yung, yung madalas natin iniisip kapag sinabi natin uh, intimacy. Okay? Yeah. Um, what else? There is no privacy between the two of you. Actually, kahit sa isang relationship, um, you need to respect each other's privacy. Hindi pa mm-hmm. yung parang once you, once you establish na parang huy tayo na or even huy magkasawa na tayo. I think it's 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 uh, important to respect na um, each person still requires a certain level of space. That space okay. where they could talk to themselves, they could lead themselves, and of course, important is the space. Yun, it's a space for them to grow as well. Para eventually, once they remove themselves from that space. Uh, they could share what they've learned and eventually the both of you will grow together. Yeah. yeah. Basically, just to keep uh, my my personal take on on our, our, our the introduction about the myths about married life, um, mm-hmm. I think it boils down to the point that um, when you experience na parang hindi na nagiging um okay ang um, ang um, ang um, um, married life niyo um is it do you still need to uh go on with it you need to stay with it or you simply need to just para shove it away na parang walang nangyari yeah kasi, sir drew i have to cut you at, for a while kasi your line is breaking again and we sure, might not sure. be able to catch uh, your sharing. Sayang naman po. If you could sure, sure, do sure. something about the connection. Yeah. While we're asking Sir Drew to fix his connection, his internet connection, I just want to say a quick hello to those who just joined the live. We have Jermaine Kosho Custodio. Hello, Jermaine. How are you? We also have Bianca O. Hi, Bianks. Thank you for joining. We also have Miss Janet Manila. Hello po, ma'am. We also have Nechi Wu who said, happy weekend. Hello, babe. Happy weekend. It's just Monday. <laughs> and then Harvey Castro is also watching. Gerald Salas is also watching. We also have on the stream right now Kathleen Palo Calupe. Also Sir Romel Laktautau. And Ate Sherry Ann Mendoza. He is also joining the live. Ayan. And we have another guest. And I want 
ask him to join the stream. All right. I'm going to the chat. There you go. Yes. Hi, Play. Do you hear us? Hello. Yeah, there you go. Hello, Play. Please say hello to our hello. viewers. Wait, ma'am. Hello, hello, po. hello. All right, uh, play, play. connection. I know, I know. I'll, I'll put you off hello. the screen, Muna. Probably you could do something about it. Ayan, medyo mahina ang mga connection natin tonight kasi nag-uulan. Diba? Katatapos yeah. lang ng ulan dito sa amin. I don't know if it's raining sa inyo dyan. But yes. I think malapit na. Oo. Oh, oh, it's gonna rain for sure. We have a comment here from Coach Mackey Apostol, and he said, "Marriage is a fairy tale. This is not a myth. As long as both of you work hard to make it one, yes, both of you should work hard twenty four seven. I agree too. However, um, this is not always the case. Sa lahat ng marriages, you know, you're lucky if the one you married is willing to make a fairy tale story with you." But the truth is, not everybody experiences a fairy tale type of marriage. Yun nga. But yeah, we can bend that myth. It is a fairy tale if both are willing to work hard for it 24-7. I have to agree. That's the key word there, you both. If only one is working hard on the relationship, then I doubt it'll be a fairy tale. But thank you, Coach, for that input, as always. Right. So there are, there are still other myths. Or, you know the wrong beliefs about married life and we're just trying to present you know uh the truths and speaking of the truth here are the truths <laughs> i'll be sharing them i'll be reading them to you unfortunately our powerpoint cannot be viewed on the screen too so i'll just give you a rundown of the truth um the truth is that the honeymoon stage does not last forever at one point, the honeymoon stage will end, okay? Another truth about marriage is that you'll get tired of each other. There will be days na talagang you'll just get tired of each other. Not necessarily saying that you will fall out of love for each other, but you will just get tired of each other, okay? And then another one is that arguments are constant. Any healthy marriage... It faces arguments, day in, day out. Malit niyan or malake. And then forgiveness and acceptance are also constant. If you are in a commitment, if you are in a marriage, you have no choice but to forgive and forget and accept all the mistakes of your partner, even yourself. Another one is you always discover something new about your partner. Kaya nga dun sa myth na if you married the person, it's automatic that you know them perfectly, 100%, everything about them, that is a myth. Because every day when you live with someone, you sleep beside that someone, every day you get to discover something new about that person. And then the next one is probably this is the point of Coach Naki, that it's a work that has to be done 24-7. It is an everyday choice. By everyday choice, I mean you have to choose your partner every single day. And that's the truth about marriages. It's a work. It's a job to fulfill, really, to choose your partner every single day. No matter how sad that day is, no matter how frustrating and irritating he could be that day, you still have to choose him every day or her every day. Another one is that... Um, Somebody will love the other more. I don't know if you will agree with me, but I think that's one of the truth or one of the truths in married life. Somebody will love the other more. Next one, very important. Patience is a virtue. Trust me when I say it is truly a virtue. You are gifted if you have the virtue of patience. And then you will hate each other at one point. And that is a good thing. Sabi nga nila, uh, the opposite of love is not really hate. Eh. It's the apathy. Yung wala ka ng pakialam. 
So as long as you feel hatred towards each other, there is still love because you get annoyed by the person still. And then intimacy does not happen every night or just like what Sir Andrew clarified, intimacy is not just about uh, sex. You know, it's also service, caring, concern, affection. But it doesn't happen all day. You know, sometimes they have different priorities. So you don't expect your husband or your wife to be all about you every day. And marriage is complicated or married life is complicated because there are a lot of things to consider. Day in, day out. Maybe yung children ninyo, yung mga anak ninyo, both your families, friends of each other, and so on and so forth. Sir Drew, your thoughts yeah. on the truths of married life? Well, for one thing, I'm not married. <laughs> so, so, so it's 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 really hard to put my thoughts on the table because you know, uh, I, I might be just being, uh, just because of me being able to experience a relationship. But for one thing, um, for a married life, it's it's a dance. You always need to always need to assist each other. You need to guide each other. Um, some some are a little bit troublesome. Um, step on uh, your partner's foot, uh, but it's it, it's part of that of of you being to thrive in 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 married life. It's important because you mga yun. Um, I would actually agree with you yung number one na sinasabi mo na kailangan mong maging pasensyado kasi kailangan mong establish or i-develop ang, ang virtue mo of patience kasi kailangan mong maintindihan ang, ang, ang uh, I know you, uh, you quote ba- baho ng isa't isa mm-hmm. kasi hindi mo tama kasi sinabi mo na you'll be living together under one roof and at some point, you'll constantly with each other. You'll constantly be in. Um, you'll be physically with each other. And definitely know something that you will you haven't known. Nung, uh, getting to know face palang kayo. So ngayon na nakikita mo ang totoong kulay niya, dyan mo ngayon maintindihan na ah, ito ang kailangan ko intindihin at at the same time, kailangan ko ding, kailangan ko ding mahalin. And actually, see, si Sir Mark was able to <laughs> post a very long um, uh, comment. And if, I think you could, you could read it, yeah? So yeah, there me. you go. All right. Uh, Sir Coach, uh, Sir Coach, not like, Coach Maki Apostol said, once you entered the phrase, give up, you are already in the end game. You will now start looking for signs, friends who are Team give up. Hashtag team give up. Worst part of your partner and excuses to do so, given that there are relationships, that should be really, or that should really be down the drain. But it should be, should be worth fighting for. That's what he said. That's a very good point, actually. Mm-hmm. And we shall use this comment when we go down to how to solve that, the problem. Yeah. When it comes to, you know, whether we give up or whether we don't. But these are, you know, exciting inputs from our viewers. There's actually one more here. <laughs> actually, they're flowing. one comment after the other. I know. And we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this one is quite funny. Although it makes sense too. Marriage is a dream and the kids are the alarm clock. <laughs> actually, yeah. Kaya nga diba, for for the married couples that yung mga friends ko na nagsipagasawa niya na they would um, be very honest with us kasi kami yung kami yung atat na nag ask no oh, kailan kailan kami magiging ninyo ng tsaka ninang and then ang mm-hmm. ang ang sagot lang nila sa amin ay pwedeng pwede mag-enjoy muna kami ay parang kami muna and then yeah. I, I I wasn't able to grab uh, the idea over that matter pero oo nga naman may point kasi Yun yung ano eh, yun yung face na talaga, yun pa, pa naginip siya, parang, uy, everything is lovely. But once na nagkaroon na kayo ng anak, ay, ang usapan na eh. <laughs> yung parang, okay, let's get, let, let, let's do this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And later on, we will talk about the involvement of children too in marriage. If, for example, both parties decided to just quit and give up. We will talk yeah. about that too in a while. And just a quick hello to those who are joining the live stream right now. We have Dom Lalu. Hello, cousin. And also, Russ Dublin. Hello, Chong. 
he actually commented a while uh, a while back that um, marriage is a non-stop process. Yeah. That's what he said. And we have to agree, yes. A non-stop process talaga. It's a job, sabi ko nga. It's a work yeah. that has to be done and chosen every day. Also, mm -hmm. hello to Samonte Jeline. Hello, Jeline. And to Romel Joseph gomez Lasatin. Hello, Sue. Thank you for joining the live. To Via Janela Gonzalez. Hello. Thank you for watching. We also have Alan Christian Tunan and Carlos. Yes, Pars. Oo, mahirap yung connection natin. Charnel Espino is also watching. Thank you, Sha. And then, who else? Oh, we have another comment right here. But before I put it on the screen, I just want to say hello to Tupala Jane Sevilla. She's also watching. And Vic Carlo Esteban is also watching. And then Dominic said, sup, cuz? Yeah, bro. All right. Here's another one from John Christian Pang. John Christian Pang is in Taiwan right now. So I am really oh, so nice. glad that he's joining the live. He's at work. And I just want to say... Hello to his workmates kasi sobrang supportive nila sa akin. Silang dahilan kung bakit ako naka 510 subscribers. <laughs> Far Eastern New Century Hoku Branch Taiwan Team C workers. My god, thank you so much. You just don't know how happy you made me tonight. All right, sabi ni John. Sir, do you, do you see the comment if you could read it? Yeah, I do. Sige, sige. So explore something sabi ni sabi ni uh, Sir John Christian Pangan, explore something na hindi usual na ginagawa niyo. If daily routine at paulit-ulit lang mag sasawa kayo at sa isa, isa. But for me, it's a normal thing with a married life. Why not to try why not to try to surprise her every time in any simple way? That's actually a good point. Para hindi mawala yung level of um, passion you we're actually um you know yeah not to sound like very scientific but uh, according to a theory by sternberg uh, love would actually include three things intimacy passion and uh, commitment so those three things you kailangan mong buuin para may establish mo na we i am really in love with this person and yung pag surprise nyo sa isa't isa in, in in no matter form, whether it's grand or simple, important yun. Malaking bagay yung maging epekto niya. Yep. I agree as well with John. Tama yun. As couples, dapat, um, there's this conscious na kailangan hindi kayo, hindi kayo natitigil na maging mag-boyfriend at girlfriend. I mean, even if you're a husband and wife, na dun pa rin dapat yung element of being boyfriends and girlfriends. Nag-date pa rin kayo. You hang out without the kids if you have children. Or this is a practical tip actually na, for example, every Friday or every Saturday evening, it's we time. Tayo lang dalawa. We, we leave the kids sa bahay ni na lola at lola. You know, we go out on dates. We watch a movie. We do the things that we used to enjoy when we were just boyfriends and girlfriends. This is a practical advice, a good one. Thank you, John. Ayun. Also want to say hello to Richmond Abalos and Babs Carion. Thank you for joining the live. We are on the truths of married life. And yeah, Sir True, anything else on that part? So before we could move on to the next. I think we could move. We could, ano, kasi kapag, <laughs> we, we, if we piled so many information about the truth, we could actually say so many things. I know, I know. <laughs> but we have to establish first the truths and the myths. Para, alam mo yun, we have yeah. kind of a, a starting point. And then besides yeah. the truths and the myths, ayan, here are some of the signs that you're actually in an unhappy relationship or unhappy marriage. Word of caution lang po ha, mga kaibigang nanunood. These are signs. Okay? Do not rely your life on these signs. They may be true. They may be not. They're not clear-cut, definite ways which tell you na, you know what, your marriage is about to fall apart. These are just some of the signs. And let us know if you experience some of these signs. This is actually according to www.opramag.com. First, there is the physical manifestation that you are in a toxic marriage, meaning there's nausea, headache, neck and back pain, diarrhea, and constipation. Excuse me po sa mga kumakain. But it's true. Sometimes emotional stress can translate into physical stress in forms of headache, neck pain, body pain, and so on. The second one, this is very important actually. Conversations become more like arguments. 
I will repeat that. Conversations become more like arguments. Yung hindi na kayo nagkakaintindihan, yung simpleng usapan lang bigla kayong umiinit tapos nagka-clash kayo agad. Okay? There's also this concept of the magic ratio. Mayroong isang psychologist or doctor ang sabi niya, in every five good things na nangyayari sa mag-asawa, mayroong isang negative na nangyayari. But if, if it is happening in reverse, isa na lang yung magandang nangyayari at lima na yung pangit na nangyayari, then probably it's time to reflect what's going on in the marriage, sabi ng isang psychologist. And then, third one, you stop turning to each other. Ibig sabihin, kung dati siya yung safe haven mo, siya yung confident mo, siya yung best friend mo, now you're no longer seeing him as that person. Mas nagko-confide ka na sa ibang tao. You know, you don't open up your concerns and your problems to that person anymore. Number four, which is a bad thing to do but it happens, you criticize your partner. Okay, you start looking at the bad sides or the negative sides of your partner and you start criticizing him or her. Fifth, there is contempt or disrespect which leads to number six, respect is gone. Okay, you don't, you no longer see each other with mutual respect. Seven, either of you are always defensive or withdrawn. Okay, yung may sasabihin ka pala agad, fighting mode na siya, alam mo yun, or may sinabi kang problema, wala siyang pakialam. Which leads to number eight, avoidance. Hindi na niya gustong dinidiscuss yung mga issues ninyo. Hinahayaan na lang niya. Wala siyang ginagawa. Number nine, lack of intimacy. Not just sex per se, but you know, the care, the concern, the affection, the service to each other. Number ten, this is interesting. Escape fantasies show up. Ibig sabihin, dahil hindi mo na na-fix yung situation, nagpo-formulate ka na ng mga imaginary situations sa isip mo. Like, what if I am married to a different person? What if I do this? What if I do that? Alam mo yun, yung mga what ifs mo na formulate na sa utak mo because you don't want to fix your own marriage anymore. Number 11, no more arguments or connection. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, that hate is not the opposite of love. Rather, it is apathy. Yung wala na kayong pakialam. Pakialam. Yes. So, hindi na kayong nag-argue. There's no point in discussing your differences or your problems or your issues. And then you started to disconnect. Wala na kayong pakialam sa isa't isa. Number 12, new negative narratives appear. Ayan, ito na yung ang dami mo ng negative na nasasabi tungkol sa partner mo. Nakakagawa ka na ng mga kwento sa ulo mo kahit hindi sila totoo. And ito yung mga sinasabi mo sa ibang tao, which is not nice. Thirteen, you feel like you're more yourself when you're apart. This is sad. Mas komportable ka sa sarili mo kapag wala yung tao. It's like when he's around, you're always at your toes. Yung you're, you're pretending this and that. And you're becoming more uh, authentic when he's gone or when he's not around. And then the last sign, according to the source, that you are in an unhappy marriage is that working around each other rather than with each other. Ibig sabihin kung dati, you make plans together, ngayon wala ka ng pakialam, you just do as you please. Aalis ka, hindi ka magpapaalam, makikipag-inuman ka, who cares? Wala nang whatever. Okay? So if you are experiencing any of those signs, we're not concluding that you are in an unhappy marriage. But there might be something awful or wrong going on in the marriage, mm -hmm. Sir Drew. Well, for one thing, yeah, you 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 we really need to establish that as a disclaimer, because you're not just even though these are maybe backed up with with science and research, it doesn't necessarily mean that oi, nakita ko ang number one sa number two. Is this the end of 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 my marriage? Hindi siya ganon. But for one thing, these are uh, you could consider as some. Um, Maybe, a, uh, for a lack of a better term, maybe red flags. Why am I still here? Medyo nawala ako sa camera. There we go. Parang red flags lang sila na parang at least to consider them with caution. At least to parang, uy, um, am I feeling this? Then try to reflect. Um, this is where uh, a good moment of self-reflection goes a very long way. Kasi uh, I would really agree with you sa sinabi mo na the opposite of love is not hate. 
um, we just don't hate the person that we love. It's it's this is just my personal take on it. You 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 don't grow hating the person. Maybe you become frustrated and disappointed about whatever the person had had did to you. Pero yeah. at, 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 in, a, in 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 the long run, yung mas masakit yung isa pinakiler natin wala pa kaya alam. Yung para uh-huh. kung kung makiwalay tayo, o oh, sige, bahala ka. Kung lalabas ka na hindi ka nagpapahala, okay lang din. Kung um, bumili ka ng isang bagay na hindi hindi uh, pasok dun sa budget niya mag-asawa, okay lang, wala kang pakailang. Ay, alam mo yun, parang it's, it's, sabi ko sa, sabi ko, sabi ko kanina, marriage is, 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 is a dance. You really uh-huh. need to know kung kail- kailan kailan kayo magsasaluhan, kailan mo siya i-assess, kailan mo siya i-let go ng konting-konti lang para mapalayo lang ng konti para maramdaman niya ulit ang ang, ang sarili niya, ma-realize ang katao niya. And then after pull that person back again. Kasi uh, g- ganun natin siya nakikita. Okay? Mid- so, pero yeah. with what many things you've listed, to be honest, um, kahit siya hindi ka uh, kasal, these are things that we need to consider with our in- intimate relationships. Yes, um, I agree. In 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 our typical, I think it's wrong to say that's typical. In 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 our uh, young <laughs> young selves of having th- these kinds of relationships, po uh, pasok yung 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 time na sumasakit ng ulo mo dahil sa relationship or mm-hmm. maybe um, para la la para na lang hindi kayo magaway. You just shrug it off. The book, di ka, di nila, di na ayusin. So these are things that important to address even in the early stage before marriage. Because they, they, if we try to resolve them bit by bit, siguro kay papano once we, uh, once we reach a certain point na magasawa na tayo, at least we have this understanding, this this awareness na we. I think I have to do this, or if not to mm-hmm. do this, I, I think I think I could communicate this with the person that I'm with, para ma-address yung mga bagay-bagay. Yeah, but I like that when you said you have to address it. Although, Sir, Sir Drew, there's this truth then na, especially sa ating mga Pilipino na sa kultura na natin, na when we are married, hindi tayo ganun ka-vocal. Like, mm, exactly. not everybody will have the courage to admit to themselves or to their spouse na, you know what, something's wrong in our marriage. Kadalasan, hmm. pinagwawalang pahala na lang natin because of many factors. Maybe the kids, yeah. or probably the expenses that you know, divorce and annulment may cost us. Pero to be honest and to be frank about it, hindi lahat ng tao matapang at kayang aminin na meron ng maling nangyayari sa pagsasama natin. That's actually it true, actually, ma'am. Let's go. It actually takes two people who are courageous to admit na, you know what, we started okay, but you know, along the way, something's happening and we have to do something about it, but not everybody will act on it. Um, that is very much true. Uh, na, uh, relative to culture, may ganyan tayong, kasi may ganyan tayong um, uh, behavior or attitude or mindset about marriage. Pero... Uh, according to uh, the research about uh, marriage uh, and uh, gener- generational study, ato, meaning uh, mga millennials, mga millennials, and so on and so forth, yung mga uh, nag-aasawa ngayon, uh, the younger generation, uh, nakikita na that they're very vocal about um, um, when they are in, in a relationship. Um, of course, hindi naman, is that a good thing? Yes. Kasi they, they tend to marry really, really, really early. <laughs> na, um, that's the reason why they're very much vocal. Kasi in a, in a very early age, talagang, or, or yeah, sa habang bata, we are at some point, maana tayo, ma- ma-vocal tayo. Pero eventually, yeah. yung, yung pagiging vocal natin, the level of maturity, hindi ganun ka, kataas naman. So alam mo, mm-hmm. parang, uh, very interesting study regarding marriage and relationships. Um, kaya nga, ang sarap niya ang pag-aralan na. Yeah. We have a comment here, Sir Drew. 
again, sir, your line is breaking on just in case you you'll be sure, lost sure. or I don't know. Um, sure, sabi sure. dito ni Alan Christian Kunanan Carlos, it's a long one. I'm married for a decade and based on my experience, the number one key to a successful and happy marriage is acceptance. For if you accept even the slightest flaw of your partner, everything will be just fine. 100%. Yes. It's really acceptance. It's the selflessness. That it's not about yes. you anymore. It's not about the both of you. Yep. I know Alan Carlos. We've been like, my gosh, friends for... I don't know how long. Yung asawa ni Play Play, if I may just share it to everybody, not to disclose his entire love story. Girlfriend niya since college. And then they married, and now they have three beautiful children. And knowing Play Play, he's a loving father, he's a loving uh, husband too. He, so yeah, I agree, Pars. Acceptance is really the key. One of the keys to a happy marriage. Yep, that is true. And then, sabi naman dito ni Bianca, oh, Nakakalungkot naman yan. Don't be sad, dear. We're just here discussing, you know, the realities of uh, married life, you know, na hindi natin napag-uusapan on a regular or on a very casual basis. Kasi hindi nga ganun yung kultura natin. Takot tayong mag-open yeah. up, takot tayong pag-usapan siya kasi feeling natin tabu or hindi tayo maiintindihan ng ibang tao. Kasi parang ang kultura natin na expectation, o oh, nag-asawa ka hanggang kamatayan, ha? ipaglaban mo yan. Wala tayong divorce sa Pilipinas, hindi, wala, wala. Mahal ang annulment. So kahit binubugbog ka na, kahit alam mo yun, hindi ka nang minamahal, magstay ka lang sa relationship. That kind of thinking or mentality. Yeah. Right? Which should not be the case. That's why I think this is also a healthy discussion para it could be an avenue to open our minds that marriage or problems or difficulties or challenges in marriage should be discussed. Yeah. And let's face it. Um, um, being unhappy, it, it's hard for us to endure that. What more kapag ilagdag pa natin ng marriage? So if, if we experience already unhappiness, uh, uh, with us being as individuals, what more that you are experiencing happiness when you are considering two people under one union? So, mahirap siya. I think you you mentioned a while ago na para in a very comical way na magpaanal mag before and so on and so forth. Because ang inisip lang natin is that I took a vow. Hindi yeah. siya promise. Hindi siya oath. Hindi lang siya basta basang salitang binitawan. These are vows. Vows that are so heavy. Vows that are very sacred for each other. And minsan, dun, yun, yung, yun yung hinuhugutan natin na, pa, na parang hindi dahil doon, I need to shrug my unhappiness muna. Yeah. And be, because of this kind of, ano, this kind of discussion online, uh, at least we're able to ano, um, share each other's anil hindi lang gagaling kay V at saka sa akin sa mga ano ang mga uh, listeners and viewers on their practice about the topic yeah all right and ma some people joined the live sir just a quick hello to Norlin Victoria thank you for joining Irene Rivera Santos hi Irene Kish Baldon is also here hello Kish uh, Justin Timothy Pilalo hello Kaz sabi niya pinsan hi thank you for joining the live again you're so generous with your time and to everybody who's joined the live guys please feel free to comment your opinions your advice you know your thoughts your questions on the comment uh, box below and like what I said a while back I'll be giving away free mobile loads to anyone who may give the best advice since we have reached oh, we have yeah half 1000 subscribers mark adi ba nta yam yam na naman ulit ni mayora mamimigil yam yeah, man ni maro mayora <laughs> if you've just joined the live um we've already covered the definition of marriage the definition of happiness the myths and the truths of marriage and also the signs that you might be in an unhappy marriage Okay, so now we will establish now this uh, this scenario that pretending you are married and you are unhappy. So what must you do? Okay, what must you do? Now here are some of the questions that you need to ask yourself if you think you are in that situation. All right, so Drew, ito na yung madugong part. Ito na natin. Sige lang. Sige lang. 
there are seven questions and we have to address them one by one, probably very quickly lang so we could move immediately to the others. The first question you need to ask yourself if you are in an unhappy marriage is this. Why do I feel unhappy? Do I feel unhappy because my spouse is making me unhappy or inherently on my own, I am really unhappy? Because what I want to consider here, Sir Drew, is the fact that your happiness is not your spouse's sole responsibility. Mm. Baka naman kasi yung asawa mo, ginagawa niya yung lahat para mapasaya ka, pero deep within you, something is really missing or something might be wrong. That's why you feel unhappy. And that marriage has nothing to do with your unhappiness. Ina-associate mo lang sa, sa, sa situation mo. But the truth is, ikaw yung merong talagang pinagdadaanan na unhappiness. So my point here, Sir Drew, and to our viewers is, you have to identify the root. Why you feel unhappy? Is your husband cheating? Or is your wife cheating? Okay? Is your spouse becoming less affectionate? Is spending too much time with his friends rather than with you? Okay? Is he not doing his obligations? Is he not a good provider to the family? So there are a lot of factors to look into here for you to identify the root or the cause of that unhappiness. Sir Drew. Well, for one thing, um, happiness is a really, really heavy word to tie it in. Uh, but one thing is sure that our choices would, would, would literally lead to whether we are to experience happiness or unhappiness. Um, it will always be a choice. With that choice, there's also empty. So, alam mo, umadara ng oras, you need to consider what is your true choice. Um, and no matter whoever you are to ask, kahit ano pang libro ang basahin mo, walang clear-cut um, path or even a universal law on to tell you what to do. Um, regarding you reaching that certain state of happiness. So, yeah. um, you really need to understand that that dynamic. Uh, if, if you notice among our listeners and our viewers, the, these two concepts are very heavy in itself already, happiness and marriage. I know. <laughs> it's really, really weird to actually put it into uh, level grounds we try to discuss the kasi yung komplikado eh lalo na kapag happiness about the yun eh mas, mas iba kapag happiness with your partner iba rin yun so I know um, um you really need to build it up ganun yan yeah. you really yeah. have to and uh whether it's the, cho- the choices might lead to being happy or unhappy um you have to understand how Alam mo parang ano yung proseso niya? I, I, I agree with what you've said na kung naging happy siya, anong root cause nun? Uh-huh. Kung naging unhappy siya, ano rin yung root cause yun? Ganun, ganun dapat siyang tignan. Yung yep. happy yung result, we focus on the result. In, 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 hindi dapat ganun. Naging tragic yung result or hindi naging maganda ang result, you need to consider why did it came to that situation. Yeah. yeah. Sabi nga nila, hindi naman, hindi naman, uh, walang masama kung kailang, kung magkukommunicate kayo, kayo sa isa't isa. Walang masama yeah. that you share your insights about this and that. Kasi importante. Mm-hmm. Okay? Oo. Tsaka, have- tsaka paalala, yeah. you're married you're already. already. <laughs> I <laughs> yun know. Gusto sabihin. You're married already. So, Uh-oh. kasama yun sa proseso. You need to communicate with each other. Yeah. And kagaya nga ng truth na inestablish natin kanina that, you know, uh, in marriage really or in married life, happiness happiness is not constant. Kasi whether you like it or not, may mga araw talagang may inis kayo sa isa, mag-aaway kayo, magkakasawaan kayo and all that. Pero hindi yun talaga grounds to let go of the marriage. So you have to identify yeah. what is making you unhappy as of the moment. Yeah. Okay, as of the moment. Uh, if you identified the cause of that unhappiness, then you can address it. Pwede siyang solusyonan. If it's the problem of your spouse, then talk to your spouse. Ask your spouse how he could she, how he could or she could help you solve that situation or issue. 
Or if it's you, di ba? Mag-self-check ka rin, self-reflection. What am I doing? Why am I feeling unhappy? Even if, you know, my spouse is a good provider, my children are this and that, you know, I have good in-laws, my, my spouse gives me time. Alam mo yun, you, you have to assess. Kasi hindi ka pwedeng basta lang emotional na ibibase mo lang yung decisions mo just because of that unhappiness. Because emotions are fleeting. They are not constant. Okay? Minsan masaya ka, minsan hindi ka. And if you will always decide based on what you feel, magiging malabo yan. And then before we continue to number two, sabi lang dito ni Alan Christian Carlos, ang pag-aasawa kasi, parang building lang yan. Pag mahina ang foundation, matitibag yan. Pero kung sobrang tibay ng foundation, kahit lindol or anumang disaster, di kaya tibagin yan. Sabi niya. I we agree, definitely. It starts with the foundation. And then, Annabelle Nukum Samson is watching. Hello, Annabelle, thank you for joining the live. And then, Bianca O said, it's not you, it's me. It's me. <laughs> Stop at nine. And then, Mami Marilyn Sato from Japan. Konbanwa. 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 Hi, hi. And, ne, Koreano. Hi. And then, Bianca O said, communication and comprehension are the keys. Yes, definitely. Understanding each other. Okay. Yeah. The second true. question that you need to ask yourself is this. Does my partner know why I feel the way I feel? Lalo na yung mga babae. I have to say, kasi ang mga lalaki mas transparent sila. Eh. Like if you ask them, are you okay? And they said yes, take it, face value. They are okay. Sa aming mga babae, it's not entirely the case. If you ask us, is there a problem? Are you okay? And we told you, yeah, it's fine. We're good. No big deal. Pero sa loob-loob namin, sumabog na ang Mount Mayon. Alam mo yon? We, we don't necessarily say what we feel. So you have to be honest to your partner. Tell your partner why you feel that way exactly. Wag mong menusin, wag mong i-sugarcoat or whatever. Just tell the person or your spouse kung bakit ganun yung nararamdaman mo. Make him understand, especially the girls. Wag nating i-hide yung emotions natin kasi the more we suppress, the more we hide it para lang wala nang usapan and argument. When it piles up, naku po, it's more difficult to solve or to find solution for. Sir Drew. Well, thing, uh, it might sound yung mga natin feedback about this uh, or about the issue. Um, but to serve uh, to serve to serve it with a little clarity. Um, let's be clear with the idea that not everyone will have the strength or even the minds to do this. Uh -huh. Very open to communicate. Not everyone is 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 able to process uh, this information in in an openly. So uh, I think I'll go back to what I've mentioned a while ago. Now. There's also the consideration of time. Na kailangan uh -huh. mong intindihin na kung kung sumasabog daw mag ang Mount Mayon <laughs> kung sumasabog na siya wag kang wag kang lumarga sa Mount Mayon <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yung yung no yung lava flow wag yung parang umiinit na yung lava tapos ikaw dala-dala kang ano na na pang ano pang stable ano pang ay pa hindi, hindi na masyadong umiinit pero nagbabatuhan lang kayo ngayon ng ano ng Nang, nang thoughts ninyo and eventually at the end, at the end of that it, it won't solve anything okay uh, it, time will always be ano, a, a dual edged sword yan yung lagi ko sinasabi uh, with, with i think with the majority of people that i that i talk with casually Sin casual talk ko to <laughs> we would really know na kapag uh, may mga issues sa mga barkada namin kaming batuhan <laughs> ng mga <laughs> <laughs> the mga bagay na ito. I'm not saying that we're very professional. <laughs> we, we're not really that good. Pero kami yung parang batuhan ng information. Pero yun nga, for time, um, it's it's a dual edge sword wherein either the out the good or the out What do I mean with that? Hindi um, na kapag naghanapan ng tamang time, 
it will resolve things. Pero meron ring instance na kapag sobrang pinahaba mo yung oras, baka wala nang, parang ano, it's, it's, it's far too late to resolve it already. Okay? For example, with 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 females, they're very. Let, let's face the the fact that females are are, are emotional. They really have their feelings uh, uh, translating in in certain ways, and to some extent, um, So if you cannot hone that, if you cannot try to address. The, the emotions that are the, that that are reserved to some uh, uh, to some extent, but it will be far too late to 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 even resolve issues. So ganon na okay? Because uh, I think I will I, I I definitely agree with Bianca about the art. Because you really need to to. To, to break the silence up, 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 uh, up to a certain extent. But not too long na it's, it's already far too late. Yeah. Ganun dapat yung titignan natin dyan. So, sabi ko sa inyo, this is a very complicated <laughs> Really, know. really complicated. Kasi, but yeah. this is where the... We're just on number two. Uh, we're just on number two. Sir Drew, again, yeah. your line ko is breaking. Um, I sorry about that. Okay, I think it's because okay, it's already right. raining. Ah, it's raining it's already now already. Raining. We understand po. Uh, just a quick hello to the people who just joined the live. Mamang San Galvez, hello Mamang. Thank you for joining the live again. Also, Ma'am Murphy Gomez is here. Hello, Ma'am Murphy. John Espera is here too. Hi, John. And then Larisa De Leon Dizon is also watching. Tita Bernadette Lapuz Nasatin is also watching. Ma'am Murphy said hello. And then... Abby Bondok Kiambao commented, Alan Christian Conan and Carlos, ayos, ayan. We are already on the questions that you must ask yourself if you think you are in an unhappy marriage. And again, we are encouraging everybody to drop their comments, advice, opinions. Join us in the discussion para hindi lang po kami yung, alam niyo na, nagbabatuhan ng kuro-kuro dito. Especially if you're already married or maybe if you are in a relationship and you understand the dynamics of commitment and being in a relationship. We would appreciate yeah. it if you share your thoughts with us too. And besides that, you know, just a piece of encouragement that you, you know, you can share your thoughts or you have to share your thoughts. I am giving away free mobile loads to the people whom I'll choose as the best givers of advice or opinions for tonight's episode. And for those who just joined tonight, we're talking about unhappy marriages, what are the signs? What are the myths? The truths? How to address them? And what possible solution we may come up with? And those will come in a while. All right. Let's continue with number three. The third question Siguro, you need to ask. Oh, sorry, sir. Sigur, just to encourage. This is also a way for uh, the view listeners to express themselves. Kaya pa paano if they're really if, uh, under their uh, under their consent. At least malabas nila yung sa panuloob nila. Kahit pa paano. <laughs> Kasi it's very healthy to at least believe in the uh, healthy yeah. way. Kahit pa paano. At least alam nila yung mga linya yung gagamitin nila, gagamitin nila kapag sasabihin na talaga nila yung, <laughs> yung concern <Right>. nila. <laughs> yeah. Feel free. This is an open discussion naman. And like what I said yeah. in the disclaimer, we are not, well, at least ako hindi ako isang, you know, marriage counselor. I'm not a licensed psychologist or a legal counselor. But you know, the things that are coming from my mouth are basically based on my wisdom, my experiences as a married person. And yun nga po, sa research din. So the presentation that we're giving you right now is based on a research and are based on researches from different sources. So we're just making this up. But we hope we are helpful. <laughs> and then number three, the third question that you need to ask yourself is this. Do I know how my partner feels? I think this is in connection to Bianca O's, uh, O's um, comment a while back that it's not you, it's me, or something like communication and comprehension. You also need to understand what the other person is feeling. If you're feeling unhappy in the marriage, you have to ask your spouse to how he or she feels about it. Okay? Kasi if you are not on the same page, isa pang factor yun while you will be arguing. Kasi pwede hindi niya naiintindihan yung condition mo, hindi niya naiintindihan yung situation mo. But if both of you are feeling unhappy, then at least you found a common ground to start from. 
Diba? I'm unhappy, you're unhappy, let's do it. Yeah. Let's solve this. Yeah. I think I would uh, share with a statement coming from a seminar that I attended way, way back. Uh, it's all about relationships, uh, intimate ones. So from girlfriend, boyfriend, and marriage, and marriage life. Um, sabi nung, ano nung, this is a quote from the speaker. Sabi niya, it's not you, it's us. And yeah, every, that's beautiful. Ev- everyone was uh, was doing the ah uh, moment. And then, uh, wag, wag mo siyang i-ah, uh, sabi niya. That's the, that's the reality of it, sabi niya. Ganun, na when you are already, regardless, he, he, uh, the, the speaker was very on point with this. Na regardless of uh, whatever relationship that you are in, Regardless if you're uh, in, uh, at the start of the relationship or at the end, it's it's definitely um, you working together as one. You be able to work things. Um, you be able to struggle. Everything is 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 for the both of you. Because important the yung Yes, you are growing as individuals, but at the same time. You'll also grow together. You'll also learn about each other together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I like that. It's not you. It's us. It's always a teamwork. Marriage is always a teamwork. Alam mo yon. Kaya nga from the Bible it says, you know, from the rib of the man, na buo si Eve, or you know, a flesh was taken from something to that effect. You're the yeah. missing rib, parang ganon. So you're one. You're one flesh. Kaya lang minsan pag emotional ka nga, you're unhappy, you forget these things. Ang, ang nararamdaman mo lang yung unhappiness, so you disregard the other things that had made you happy in the beginning or in, in at the start of the relationship. Yeah, so I like that part. It's not you, it's us. Alright, so you have to consider too what your far- partner, what your partner feels. Oh my gosh, the F and the P. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Actually, part partner then, partner. Because whether you like it or not, when you're married, na you just fart in front of each other, and it's nothing but normal, you know. <laughs> Alright, yeah. But anyway, ano mga ginagawa ko dito? Na wala ako kasi dun sa part na yun eh. So we are uh, done with the first three questions. Why do I feel unhappy? Number two, does my partner know why I feel that the way I feel? The third one is, do I know how my partner feels? The fourth one, how can I change myself? That's another way to look at it. How can I change myself? If you are feeling unhappy and you have control over that unhappiness, then what can you do as an individual to solve that unhappiness? Lalong-lalo na siguro kung stay-at-home wife ka or mom, yung wala kang alam yon yung sa bahay ka lang so day in day out ang activity mo pa ulit 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 lang and then mag, mag, mararamdaman mo yung i don't know sadness discontent kasi parang feeling mo hindi ka nag-grow as a person o o wife ka o o spouse ka o o mother ka pero as a woman alam mo yon ano yung para sa yo so if that unhappiness roots from that or is coming from that then you can ask yourself how can i change myself what can I do to make myself happy again? Even if I'm now a wife or even if I'm now a mother. Okay, that's number four, Sir Drew. I think um, what you're saying is, well, correct me if I'm wrong. It's like trying to find, um, try to get your own life back to the marriage that you have. But um, uh, it sound not okay to hear it, Parang you're looking for an alternative. Alternative to at least um, really, really uh, leave you from shifting your mind to to a solution, uh, trying to shift uh, your things with the right and you're, you're currently experiencing. Kumbaga, you're trying to start to have hope again. You need important to now, despite of this, this, this struggles, despite of these problems that are circling, it's important that hindi nawawala yung hope sa in sa isa isa. Important yep. kasi yun. Yep. Okay. Kasi 
and dami kasi ways to be honest like for example being here in in in, in this discussion this is this is actually you could consider as a focus group discussion for example kaya sa this is this is this is this this discussion is somehow therapeutic kasi at least kung kaya mong i-share ang ang experiences mo kung kaya mong i kung nakarelate ka at you eat your inputs at least yung nararamdaman mo nababawasan kasi i- iba rin kasi kung you verbalize ano your your emotions or your thoughts or kung hindi ka comfortable dito kung meron kang very very trusted take note of the word that trusted friend <laughs> now you could open up your concerns and they would understand and they would uh, listen yeah yun important yun. then it's also a, an alternative way to at least get your life going and find a certain sense of self once again yeah Sir, again po, uh, your life is breaking. <laughs> yep, yep. Medyo robotic yung dating nung bosses mo. Care but yeah, boss, good point. Boss. Good point, Sir Drew. Uh, besides yung as a wife, how can you change yourself? I- kung ikaw naman yung husband, you also need to ask yourself, how can I change myself? If your wife already told you, uh, husband, ito yung mga ayaw ko, these are the reasons why I'm feeling unhappy, work with your wife naman din. Do something about it too. Diba? If if there if there's something that you could still improve about yourself, then do so. If it's for the sake of your marriage, work for for what will improve your relationship with your wife. And then number five, how long am I willing to wait? Meaning to say, um, how long are you willing to go through the process of making your marriage work again? Diba? Are you looking at it long in the long run or parang gusto mong tapusin mo na ngayon? It doesn't really matter how long, pero your willingness to work it out. Okay? I think that's self-explanatory. And then number six, Sir Drew, just to make it quick and fast. Medyo Dula. mas ma, ano to, importante to. You have to consider too, you have to ask yourself too, is it just a rough patch or a persistent situation? Let's differentiate the two. A rough patch Ngayon lang nangyayari. Siguro nagkasabay lang kayong mainit ang ulo kaya nag-aamay kayo or may nasabi kayo sa isa't isa na hindi maganda that had made you unhappy. On the other hand, if it's a persistent situation, ibig sabihin paulit-ulit. You know, you resolve it, umulit na naman, or pinag-usapan nyo, walang nagbago. Alam nyo, cyclical lang. No changes, no improvement. Like for five years, same thing pa rin yung pinag-aawayan nyo. Ten years, ganun pa rin yung pinag-aawayan nyo. You have to consider that too kasi if it's a rough patch, ibig sabihin, circumstantial lang, situational lang. But if it's a persistent situation, ah, ibig sabihin talagang malalim na yung problema ang pinanggagalingan ninyong mag-asawa. Yeah. Sir Drew. Well, actually, would I, dyan yung is na mention natin earlier na, yung regard Mm, your communication part if you're you're not being able to understand each other na hanapin yung root cause niya okay so it could be why you are um, not in good terms is maybe because of the situation that you're in so then it, and, and that situation it, it will just pass parang bang ilang araw lang or maybe the shortest would be a day so, what 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 mo generalize ng idea na oi? I think we're 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 very rocky relationship natin. Hindi hindi dapat siya. So, ngayon kung mission yeah. dala mo na yung mga nangyari way 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 back na years ba? Uh, parang iba din yung ano yung nang gagalihan ng issue niya. Okay? Sir Drew, you're la- you're you're Line again. <laughs> Sorry po, I keep yeah. reminding you. Uh, just in case. Kasi yeah. yep. Sorry sa ating mga viewers kung medyo may technical difficulties tayo. Hindi naman po natin makontrol ang pag-ulan at ang internet yeah. connection. Yep. And then the last question that you need to ask yourself if you are in an unhealthy relationship or marriage is this. Is it abusive in all aspects? I think this is... Uh, a significant question that you have to consider because when abuse comes to picture, ibang usapan na yan. In all aspects, meaning to say emotional abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse. Maybe you're happy kasi binububog ka na pala and you're just scared to admit. Okay? Maybe you're unhappy kasi there's already the emotional and the verbal abuse. Okay? 
Or maybe you're unhappy kasi nagiging inconsiderate na yung spouse mo sa'yo. Masyado na siyang maraming kasalanan sa'yo na hindi niya hinihingi ng tawad sa'yo or hindi niya, uh, tawag ito, binabawi or binagawa ng paraan para makabawi siya sa'yo. If it's abusive in all aspects, you all need to ask yourself that. Sir Drew. Well, for mentioned something about intimacy. Um, intimacy. Intimacy has, um, there's beauty and magic in intimacy. Parang gano'n sabihin, beauty and magic in intimacy. But there's also dark magic in intimacy. Na, um, when we, when we, um, we get so blinded about, uh, wait, I love this person, this person is intimate with me, I love this person, uh, this person is 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 close. But let not be that. Let it not be the reason on on on. Na, regardless, na active at sa kaya hurtful na yun. Kita isin ba? Hindi siya pwede. Parang um, kasi as I mentioned a while ago, you need to have passion, commitment, and intimacy. That's that's how love works in, in in a theoretical perspective. Now, if you only hold on to intimacy, and then you being abused by this person, so maybe iba na yung ano yung yung dynamic no. Para mm-hmm. kung in a very straightforward answer, parang nagpapakamartir ka na yata. <laughs> yep. Ano sa ganyan yep. situation? If it's an abusive relationship, it's definitely a consideration to make. You know, if you will mm-hmm. stay or go in the relationship. So again, po the seven questions that you need to ask yourself: Should you be in an unhappy relationship or unhappy marriage? Number one: Why do I feel unhappy? Address the cause and the root. Identify it. Number two: Does my partner know why I feel the way I feel? Let your partner know how you feel. Third. Do I know how my partner feels? It has to be two-way. Let him know what you feel and you have to know as well what he feels or what she feels. Fourth one, how can I change myself? If you have an involvement on the unhappiness of your spouse, do something about it. Change yourself if it's for the benefit of your relationship or your marriage. Number five, how long am I willing to wait? Means how long are you willing to go through the work that your marriage requires for it to be in good shape again. Number six, is it just a rough patch or a persistent situation? Is it just a circumstantial problem? Ngayon lang ba siyang nangyayari? Or has it been going on for quite a while now? Because if it's just a rough patch, then it will be fixed or solved easily. But if it is a persistent situation, probably the root or the cause is too deep that it requires a lot of communication and solution and the last one is is it an abusive relationship in all aspects because if it is verbally emotionally especially physically abusing you then you have to do something about it do not tolerate it sabi nga ni sir drew hindi mo namang ka- kailangan magpakamartir you know you love your spouse but you know if you are being hurt in multiple ways you have to act on it all right. It's not just a matter of unhappiness anymore. It's a matter of your safety and security and your rights as a person already. So you have to do something about that. So those are the seven questions that you need to ask yourself if you think and you feel that you are in an unhappy marriage. I just want to say a quick hello to everybody who is watching right now or who's just joined the stream. We also have Larissa De Leon Dizan. She said, hi. Hello, Larissa. Thank you for joining the live. We also have Joyce. Hello, Joyce. Moshi, thank you for joining the live. John Wilmore. Ina anak, why are you watching this live? You're only nine years old or 15. What? I don't know how old you are now. <laughs> Where's your mom? <laughs> and then Joshua David is also watching. He said, why am I here? I'm not even married. You will be Hello. eventually. Yeah, Hello. one of our residents. <laughs> And then Bianca O said, Shuel, kapag nag-asawa ka na, haha, charon. Ah, yeah, pertaining to Joshua. And then there you go. 
Sabi ni Bianca, also ma-understand mo ang mga drama ko. Wahaha, she said. And then some smile. Yeah, thank you for joining the live stream, guys. I hope you do not hesitate to share your opinions, your questions, your advice too. Huwag kayong mahiya. Sabi nga ni Sir Drew, treat this like an open forum, a focus group discussion wherein you could be comfortable if you ever have frustrations about your married life. Huwag tayong mahiya. You know, this is nothing to be ashamed about. We just have to be vocal about our circumstances. Lalong-lalo na kung medyo nasa mahirap ka ng situation. And then... Actually, your well-being is also being healed here. So... Yeah. Uh, so, your mental health as well. So, importante kasi, sabi nga ni Ma'am Kat, importante na nag-share kayo sa ganito mga instances. Kasi it's also a way of self-healing if you have these yeah. kinds of issues. Remember, sh sharing is learning and sharing is healing. Wow, nakagawa ako gad ng ano. Nang saying. <laughs> All right, yeah. now moving forward, because we have a lot to discuss pa. Here are some thoughts to ponder. I'll just go through them very quickly. Kasi yung iba naman, um, self-explanatory na din sila. Uh, number one, happiness is not equal to failure. Ito yung takot ng karamihan. Like, if I am unhappy and I decided to let go of my relationship, my marriage, my spouse, it means I'm a failure as a person. Hindi eh. Uh, wag nating isipin na if we are unhappy and we chose a way out, uh, it is a failure. Sometimes you just have to make choices for the good of the both of you. No? So you, you don't really equate unhappiness to failure. Uh, again, if you're unhappy... There's a way to resolve the problem. There's a way to fix it. So do not automatically equate it. Ah, my marriage is going. Ano na? It's going down it's the drain. Yeah. yeah, it's a failure. Na. That's not it. And happiness is an emotion. It's not an affirmation of failure. No, sir, Drew. Yeah. Well, not not just. Also, it's also you being able to choose where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. So your decisions would really tie in whether you would like to be happy or not in a relationship. Yep. And also, there's the concept of emotions are notifications of the body. So you feel them because your body is telling you that there's something happening externally that you're not happy about. And so what do you do? Parang pag nakareceive ka ng notification sa cell phone mo, you look at it, you open it, you know, you put attention to it, you give time to it. It's the same thing with emotions, notifying you what to feel. So if you're feeling something unhappy, you're feeling something negative, act on it. Wag mo lang siyang hahayaan na, alam mo yun, mag-pile up nga siya sa katawan mo and then biglang one day sasabog ka na lang. Right? You're actually, actually correct with what you've mentioned na to, to understand or to at least acknowledge, yan, yeah, yung important thing word, to acknowledge your emotions. Your emotions mm -hmm. are, are safeguards, uh, so to speak, mm -hmm. when you are experiencing certain situations or instances. So, wag mo ipagbahala na, uy, I'm feeling, for example, when you are simply, in a very simple way na lang, if you're studying, for example, if you're a student, and you feel tired, trust yourself to study. Listen to what you are, your body is telling you. Listen to what you're currently, if you're feeling stressed and anxious, chill. <laughs> and do something about it. Yung parang, alam mo yun, yeah. take a breather, and then after, what can I do para mabawasan yung, can I do para mabawasan yung anxiety ko? Same thing with mm -hmm. So if you are dealing with these kinds of, of circumstances that you are not communicating with each other, then in your and, and, and feelings are actually telling you this as well, then try to uh, chill a bit. Don't panic. Don't stress. Don't stress out. 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 I think you've mentioned the key word already, Sergio. It's really the acknowledgement of what you feel. Okay? Yeah. Don't deny your feelings to yourself. Admit them. Yun nga. Don't be afraid. I'm feeling unhappy about my marriage today. It's not going to fail I know, immediately, but I have to do something about it. Otherwise, it might fail if I don't do something about it, if I don't act on it, right? All right. And then there's also the concept of marital endurance, marital work, and personal change. Kagaya ng ulit-ulit kung sinasabi kanina, marriage is a work in progress. It's a job. <laughs> and, 
it is a 24 7 job <laughs> yes, it never ends alam mo yun wala siyang kapagurang trabaho sa buhay it's a commitment sabi nga good weather bad weather happy sad better for worse sickness and in health you have to work we memorize. <laughs> yeah, it's about. Diba? Eh, hindi siya kasi kagaya ng mag-boyfriend, girlfriend lang na kapag you get tired of each other, na break na lang tayo, whatever. You know, I can just find somebody else better than you are. But in marriage, ah, man, I'm telling you, it's not, that, it's not the same case anymore. So there's the concept of marital endurance. Hanggang saan mo kayang magtiis? Right? Marital work. Hanggang saan mo kayang pagtrabauhan yung marriage mo? <laughs> Parang saan nabot ang pasensya mo sa isang minuto? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nakadikit mo na habang buhay. <laughs> yes, actually. And then the marital work, the personal change. Hanggang saan mo kayang mag-adjust at baguhin yung mga bagay-bagay tungkol sa sarili mo para lang maisalba mo or para ma-make sure mo na nag-work yung marriage mo. Right. And then there's also mo, ahead, in regarding in how to compromise it, level of adjustment are are laid at the table. Because important thing. Ayon, medyo na wala na naman si Sir Drew. No, na wala ako. <laughs> sabi ko ay, sabi ko na adjustments are important. So, yep, adjustment. How how to make compromises para you could satisfy each other's needs, wants, desires. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Compromise is one of the keys too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bianca O said, I agree. Acknowledge what you feel, what you are going through. Huwag kang hypocrite sa sarili mo. That's the thing talaga. You have to be honest to yourself. Yep. And then sabi ni Mami Marilyn Sato, we all need to suffer a lot to have a successful marriage. Oh, sad but true. Yes. It's suffering sad. is always... I think you're saying that suffering is, is part of, of, of it. Pero hindi naman laging constant ang suffering. <laughs> <laughs> in, in that's we need to that's where we need to I know, to, to stabilize it a bit um, there there will be instances that like, um, you won't meet halfway that you might not understand each other there will be those instances but maybe when those instances are are present it's important that you consider them as challenges that you could address together okay yeah Parang import, important na you will suffer but hindi dapat yung isang side lang yung magsuffer Oh, so, kung, o kung yung isang side yung suffer, make sure that the other side will also help the, the other person to at least yeah. pick them up from where they are. Mm-hmm. And, and then, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not a married sir. I'm not married. I'm just, I'm just looking at it in in, the, in that context. Na parang tulungan pa din siya. Alam niya. Hindi yeah. nawawala yung, yung context na nagtutulungan kayo. Mm-hmm. Siguro to, to make it a better word, siguro not suffer um, literally, but more of like to make sacrifices. Exactly, yeah. Yan yung, yan yung better diba? word for that. Yeah. yeah. To make sacrifices. You have to make a lot of sacrifices to make marriage or your own marriage successful. Uh, kasi yes. the word suffer may entail, baka naman nga nag, pinapatay ka na, sinasaksak ka na, okay lang, go lang. <laughs> Let's make this marriage successful. Yeah, oh, but not uh... to that extent. Mm, not to that extent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Quick hello lang to those who joined the live stream. Hello, Cheya. Uy, nabuhay ka. Hello, thank you for joining the live stream. Charles Cabrera is also watching and Jason Madlambayan is also watching. Thank you, guys. We are on the topic on happy marriages. You know, if you're in a relationship or if you are in a marriage, I hope uh, you can pick up something here from our discussion. And then two more thoughts to ponder before we go to the heavier part. Um... Therapy and consultation, these are one of the considerations you may have or the choices you may have. Should you feel that um, your marriage is really on a problematic condition na? When I mean therapy and consultation, you have to look for a marriage counselor. You have to look for, you know, licensed individuals who could help you through uh, the difficulties or the challenges of your marriage. And the last one, can, can for I, some thoughts. Can I, I, sorry, Paul. 
Can I put emphasis on that? Uh, it, actually, it's in connection with divorce and annulment. I, sure. I, I really, I really need to uh, put so much emphasis on therapy and counseling or consultation because it, it really, really helps. Like seriously, it really, really helps. Sabi ko sa inyo, if if your experience here is already helpful, if you are actually conversing with uh, 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 a certified licensed practitioner or a professional to really help um, your relationship to be uh, better than than what it was. Okay, um, you're helping each other here. Not not. Pag yung isip na wii yung asawa ko uh, magkakonsi, hindi siya ganon. It's, it's the both of you. Okay, uh-huh. it could. Counselor could be, or maybe you could just need uh, a spiritual redirection. So your local priests could actually help you, or pastor could, could actually help you to at least talk it over, what could be missing, and so on and so forth. Okay? Yeah. All right. Medyo nag-break yung line with Don Sergio. So we'll just repeat what you said. Na, uh, aside from psychologists or marriage counselor, you may also talk to your pastors or to your priests. Yes. Should you need really the therapy or the consultation for your marriage to be saved if it's really on the yeah. brink of, you know, falling apart. Um, a quick hello then to my sister. She's watching from South Korea. Hello, Carla. Thank you for joining. She's watching on YouTube. Ayan. Also, Anyo. hello. Yeah, annyeonghaseyo. Uh, hello then to Jeju Aboy. Hello, Abs. Shout out to you. Thank you for joining the live. Ayan. So those are just some of the thoughts to ponder, no, when it comes to marriage or, or the problem or challenges that you face in marriage. And then, medyo may biblical reference lang at din ako dito since we are, you know, in a Catholic nation or a Catholic nation. Um, to be quite frank about it, the Bible, it does not encourage divorce or annulment. Okay? The Bible is strongly against a divorce and annulment. But I don't want to be political about this, though. No, I'm just giving you different perspectives. We have, you know, perspectives from psychologists. We have perspectives from this and that. And we also have biblical references or perspectives. And the Bible strongly suggests or encourages that we should not think about divorce or annulment as an end to marriage. Because marriage is a sacrament. It is a covenant. Therefore, it needs to be valued for the rest of our lives if we ever enter into it. Now, what the Bible really encourages are the following. Number one, repentance. Number two, reconciliation. And number three, forgiveness. Okay, repentance, pagsisisi, reconciliation. You know, you, you patch things up, magbati kayo, you forgive each other, you say sorry to one another, and then ultimately forgiveness. So whatever the mistake of your partner is or whatever he or she lacks, Whatever problem you face, you always need to resolve it within your means as couple. So that is what the Bible is telling us. It discourages us to go through divorce or annulment. So if therapy, consultation could help your marriage and then include repentance, reconciliation, and forgiveness, definitely there is still light to this darkness. Whoa. Wow. Wow, napaka-philosophical, no? <laughs> Bible, eh. <laughs> Medyo sinegway ko lang doon. Sir, Drew, your thoughts? The biblical message, repentance, reconciliation, and forgiveness. Doon ang hirap kalabali kapag biblical na <laughs> siya. I know, I know. <laughs> Pero for one thing, it, it's, it's, you could consider very, very, very big words to consider so that a marriage would be I think I don't want to use the word safe, but at least to to help it thrive once again. Because mm-hmm. but in the process, na parang you together for so many years, at some point, nito nakakaro na ng yung passion and yun burn out na, or at some point, um, closeness and yun yun nagiging manipis. Maybe uh, in these kinds of uh, of of concepts or even acts are very important so that eventually you would forgive each other, eventually you would change uh, to be the better version of yourselves for each other, and eventually try to reconcile. Na parang, um, I know it's 
hard for 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 people to forgive. Pero um, knowing the idea that you are uh, you are in union together under a covenant, hindi tabas ng promise, hindi lang just tabas ng um, um, tawag dito, uh, hindi lang siya basta-bas ng papel. It's covenant. No? Malim ang pinanggagalingan niya. Uh, you really need to consider these three things so that uh, you could help the marriage thrive. Yeah. Alright. And we are just sharing... Napaka... <laughs> very fast <laughs> Uh, very fast or ish. <laughs> yeah, but seriously though, we are sharing to you some biblical um, uh, points of view or yeah, because we want you to understand that marriage is worth saving. Okay, yeah. it's worth saving. Sabi nga ni Sir Drew, it, it doesn't automatically save your marriage, but it will thrive. Okay, it will thrive. Susubok at susubok. And eventually, you know, you will reach a situation or, or a time na matatapos din yung storm na kinakaharap ng relationship ninyo. So that's just one biblical uh, touch to the discussion, no? And then, let's go to some legal aspects naman of, of the situation. But one thing that I want to establish here first is that unhappiness is not a ground for annulment or divorce. That is a fact. Okay? You cannot tell a judge why do you want to get divorced or annulled I'm unhappy. <laughs> no, it's not a ground for either divorce or annulment. So you have to fix the root first or you have to identify the root first of that unhappiness before you even consider divorce or annulment. Para ginawa lang na ano, pag i-resign sa trabaho, no? why, why do you want to, to leave that moment? Because I'm unhappy. <laughs> Hindi siya gano'n. <laughs> And, and this is a, a, a parang a breath of relief for us kasi if unhappiness is not the ground for annulment or divorce, then it can be fixed within our means, by us, not by the court or whosoever, but by the couple themselves, right? But, but, for example, your unhappiness comes from the following grounds, then... If all else fails, therapy, consultation, compromise, communication, give and take, self, you, you change yourself, you travel, as in all means possible, ginawa niyo na para maisalba yung marriage niyo, but nothing has worked for you both. Then you have the option of divorce if you live in a different country that allows it. Or if you are in the Philippines, you have the option of annulment. But either of the two, I do not encourage you <laughs> to do any. Or to, to choose any of the two, okay? But before we go to the grounds of divorce, I just want to say a quick hello to John Espera. Sabi niya, shout out po here in Tondo. On oh, Taray! Wow. Nakaka- taray! Umaabot, umaabot ka sa Tondo! <laughs> hello po, John Espera. Salamat sa panonood. Nakita ko rin na nanonood ka sa ano YouTube pero umalis ka lang kasi mas maraming activity dito sa Facebook kesa sa YouTube. And then Sir Denden Vashrudin is also joining the live stream. Hello Sir Denden. Good to see you another of our resident viewers, right? Okay. Now, this is House Bill 7303. Hindi pa po siya batas, but it's already a House Bill. After na naipasa siya sa Senate or naipasok siya sa Senate, walang naging follow-up action tungkol dito because, you know, like what I said, we are a Catholic country. Maraming angulo ang tinitignan pagdating sa divorce dahil yeah. hindi lahat nag-aagree dito. Like what I said, I don't want to sound political, but, but just in case, just in case you are from a different country at talagang feeling mo wala ng angulo pang pwedeng tignan para may ang marriage mo, here are some of the grounds that you could consider should you want to file divorce, which we do not encourage. Okay? The first one, the occurrence of physical abuse. If your unhappiness comes from this, you might want to consider it. Physical abuse, pinubugbog ka, sinasaktan ka. Second one, the exhibition of grossly abusive conduct. Okay? Yung mga malalaan na talaga na pang abuso. And then, psychological incapacity. Okay, Sir Drew, medyo mamaya ipapadiscuss ko sa'yo yung psychological incapacity, ha? And then, uh-oh, marital rape. 
O, huwag po kayong mabigla. May mga nangyayari pong ganyan. Hindi na po ibig sabihin asawa natin kung kailan niya hugustong gamitin tayo kahit ayaw po natin, pwede. Pag po pinapwersa na po tayong ibigay yung alam niya na, sexual obligation natin sa kanila, considered na po yan na marital rape kung may kasama na pong pagpapwersa. Okay? Kung hindi siya mutual na gusto niyong gawin. And then, irreconcilable differences despite efforts to reconcile. Ayun nga po, kagaya ng sabi ko, if you did everything you could within your means and power to save marriage, pero nothing has worked, yun po, pwede siyang maging ground for divorce. But not in the Philippines again, ha, because we don't have, you know, divorce legal in the Philippines. And then, if you have been separated for at least five years, yung hindi na po kayo nagsasama sa isang bubong, talagang hiwalay na po kayo consecutively, I think, for five years, it could also be a grounds for divorce. Ayan. So sabi ko nga po, we're not encouraging you to do this, to file for divorce as much as possible. We are pro-family, we are pro-marriage. Pero kung talagang wala na pong pag-asa, at least po alam natin yung grounds for divorce. Sir Drew, psychological incapacity. Well, for one thing, um, if you consider psychological incapacity, it, sh it should be, it should refer to no less than just uh, than a mental, not merely physical. I'm actually stating it according to article. Uh, mm -hmm. um, it should be proven thoroughly that the, the other person having self, um, psychological well-being, mental health, that they cannot commit even with the basic because of their current condition, nagkakaroon ng concern yon to live together under one and at the same time to rent and support with each other as they are still partners and eventually kapag nagkaroon na sila ng mga anak. Yeah. Yeah. Take note, it should be thoroughly proven. So, hindi yung basta basta na, uy, I, I would like to uh, file uh, maybe a divorce, divorce or an announcement. It should really, really, really be through thorough process para ma-prove na meron ka talaga um, psychological incapacity. Kasi anyone could just say na, uy, I have this kind of mental health condition. You really need yeah. to uh, go through the process uh, to prove mm -hmm. that you really have uh, capacity psychologically. Yeah, so parang basically... <laughs> Sorry, ko parang, parang low. <laughs> this, this is so... Ano? <laughs> Mga balik yung, yung information yeah. regarding sa mga nagbabasa. Anyways, you're saying... Yeah, hindi naman po tayo lawyers, but you know, we have to know at least the basics para lang, if, if ever, if ever we decided na tapusin na yung marriage natin kung talagang hindi na siya masasalba, we, we are familiar with the grounds naman, di ba? And yun nga pong point ni Sir Drew, if you are looking at psychological incapacity as ground for divorce, then hindi lang siya basta, you know, it's not something you could claim easily na parang I'm psychologically incapacitated, okay, let's do this, let's pretend we are fools and parang makapagkalas tayo sa isa't isa, no? You have to be clinically and legally proven to have the condition before you're granted that um, divorce that you want. Okay. Pero sabi ko nga po, in the Philippines, we do not have divorce. So, yep. Maybe if you're watching from a different country and, you know, you're experiencing or going through a difficult marriage and you've decided, both of you, that it's no longer working for the two of you, these are the grounds for a divorce. So now let's go to the grounds for annulment since we are in the Philippines. And this is according to Article 45 of the Family Code of the Philippines. Wow, Antaray, nag-research talaga ako. <laughs> But yeah, um, these are from Article 45 of the Family Code of the Philippines, Grounds for Annulment. Sir Drew, pakibasa po sila. You have the copy too, right? Yeah, I do. So, for Go ahead, sir. according to Article 45 of the Family Code of the Philippines, the first one, uh, fraud, impotence, uh, mistaken identity, or being under the legal age to marry. So, it's more of being... You know, and as well as yung pagiging legal ng yung age niya. Basically, they're, they're, they're simply uh, stated as they are. Lack of parental consent, if your party is below 21 years old. Uh, inclusively, kasama dito ang psychological incapacity. 
fraud, as mentioned earlier, consent for marriage obtained by force, intimidation, or undue. So, you basically, uh, marriage na you have full consent over it. Uh, this is very interesting. Impotence or physical incapability of consular marriage. I didn't know na kasama pala yun. And then at the same time, serious sexually transmitted disease. The, the last two are very, uh, are very, first thing ko lang sila encounter The others yeah. are somehow common sense. Pero yung last two medyo, kasama pala sila sa article. <laughs> Ako rin naman, yeah. napa, wow, kasama pala sila. <laughs> yeah. Just to reiterate po, ah, the grounds for annulment, fraud, impotence, mistaken identity, being under the legal age to marry, and then the lack of parental consent, psychological incapacity, consent for marriage obtained by force, intimidation, or undue influence, impotence, physical incapability of consummating the marriage, and serious sexually transmitted disease. Okay? Uh, doon po sa isang discussion ni Attorney Fortune kung saan nag-live siya somewhere sa isang channel based on my research, roughly annulment in the Philippines will require you half a million pesos. So mag-isip-isip ka. Itiisin mo ba yung asawa mo o gagastos ka ng kalahating million? <laughs> Di ba? Do that. <laughs> All right, we're back. Yes, dude, you were saying. Sabi ko muna tin pera noon. I mean, I I I know intensive. But for you to do such paperwork. It would cost diba? much. Exactly half a million pesos and it doesn't just happen overnight. Some people get annulment after years. It does. So, mag-isip-isip po kayo. And if you really look at it, wala po ang unhappiness sa grounds ng annulment. Yeah, wala siya. Wala po talaga siya. So, you know, if you're unhappy in your marriage, do something about it. You know, do something about it. And when I say do something about it, wag naman yung mambabae ka or manlalaki ka para magkaroon ng grounds for divorce <laughs> or annulment, di ba? <laughs> Or para lang ma maanal kayo, hindi mo na tatabihan yung asawa mo or lahat ng mga grounds gagawin mo para lang magkaroon ng dahilan para maghiwalay kayo. But my point mm -hmm. here is, legally speaking, wala ang unhappiness or actually falling out of love, hindi din siya ground for either divorce or annulment. Yeah. So you have to work, work, fall in love again with your spouse, you know, do something to make you happy again. The both of you. Diba? Look at it. Fraud, impotence, mistaken identity, lack of parental consent, psychological incapacity, consent for marriage obtained by force, impotence, or yung yeah, physical incapability of consummating the marriage, and STD. Ayun, kung gusto mo yes. hiwala yan, acquire the disease. <laughs> and then file for an Pero take marriage. note of take note of the word here. Hindi lang siya basta basta. So, yep. um, the all of these, I think, in in a these should be thoroughly proven. Mm -hmm. uh, ang taga, ang yes, these are paperwork, pero ang taga even establish na uh, you're able to uh, finally annul yung ano yung relationship. Yeah. For your marriage. O di ba? Ngayon parang merong mas clarity sa atin na. Ha, I'm unhappy in my marriage, but I will be much un or yeah, much unhappier if I have to spend half a million pesos just to get annulled. <laughs> so, kung, kung, if you have that kind of money and even more, <laughs> well, you know, if you have the well, money, <laughs> sige lang, go. You know, it's your choice. Pero, pero on, you know, on a more practical side. <laughs> ah, parang ang hirap na ito nung meron karami yung pera. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga, yung ibang mag-asawa mag -asawa, na hindi na talaga nagkakasundo, nagkakaroon na lang ng amicable settlement na hiwalay na lang tayo. Alam mo yun? Yung mutual mm -hmm. understanding na lang na hiwalay na tayo. And then, after...
Ayan. Ay, by the way, I forgot to, to discuss the difference between divorce and annulment. Magkaiba pala kasi sila, Sir Drew. Oo oh, nga. Magkaiba ba yung mga yan? Uh, Oo, oh, oh, very quickly lang nga. Ang divorce, kapag nangyari na siya, uh, kumbaga, kasal kayo, tas naghiwalay kayo legally. Okay? Correct me if I'm wrong dun sa mga attorney natin nanunuwada. Pero the, based on my understanding lang, pag divor- nagpa-divorce ka, uh, valid yung marriage mo, pero na-decide kayong maghiwalay. Ang annulment naman, ini-invalidate niya or ini-nullify niya yung marriage as if it never existed. Yun yung annulment. Yeah. Okay. Kaya wala tayong divorce sa Philippines. Annulment lang talaga. As if you never married. Yun yung difference ng divorce and annulment. Ayun. Sabi ni Bianca O dito, Yup, my mom and my bio- biological father spent roughly half a million. See? Ang, ang laking pera ang kailangan mong gastusin just because you're unhappy. My God, mag na lang kayo ulit. <laughs> Kahit gumastos pa kayo ng 10,000 pesos. ba? So, really, what what this is telling us is unhappiness in marriage shouldn't really be a basis to let go of the marriage. Yeah. You just really have to work for it to work again. Ang saya. Diba natututo tayo? Ako din biglang natu- uh, ni-research ko niya pero ngayong binabasa natin. Doon nagre-reflect sa utak ko, oh my God, kung palang mag-decide akong hiwalayin yung asawa ko, malulugi pa ako. <laughs> diba? Nakakaloka. Doon sa mga nanonood sa atin, those who just joined, we have Diana Pongko Duya. Hello, Diana. BJ Dizon. Hello, Brian. And we also have Brix Aga Sandoval. Hello, thank you for joining the live. We are about to end the live stream in a few minutes. But yeah, we're on the grounds of divorce and annulment. So kung wala pa po kayong asawa, alam nyo, boyfriend, girlfriend pa lang, medyo mag-isip-isip muna kayo. Alam nyo na yung papasukin nyo, marriage is not an easy thing. It's a commitment. It's a lifelong commitment to the person you choose to be with for the rest of your life. But then again, we're not suggesting naman na, you know, you have to stay stuck in a marriage na abusive na. There's always a way out of it naman po. If it's annulment or divorce that must be done, if you really think it's necessary to end your marriage, with all due respect, we're not here to judge you. Go ahead. Not all marriages are meant to last anyway. Let's establish that too. Yeah. Sir Drew. Well, for one thing, there will be some common reasons why you have to stay in an unhappy marriage. Number one, sa mga Lagi may anak na siya. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun, you're only staying because of your, uh, of, of your children. And and there's nothing wrong about that. Kasi ako oh, nga naman, inisip mo yung welfare nila, yung, yung, yung growth nila. Uh, and I'm not sure if, I, I really can't say if if that's, uh, kumbaga, do you really need to consider that in a way na that you would sacrifice your happiness as well? Siguro, on my end, ang pwede kong i- 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 reflect doon would be that um, it will always be your happiness will always be under your own uh, let's say happiness. Yeah, yeah. It's, it will always be your choice. So, um, Marami kasi in the middle of conversation and marriage, two complicated concepts, two complicated ideas, two complicated situations. So um, there will always be factors that would play between those two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kaya, um, you really need to consider a, a lot of things when you need to talk it with your partner, your spouse, with your husband, uh, so that all, the both of you will help each other and thrive together. And maybe if that will be the case, um, you'll save whatever that's whatever thing that you have currently. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. We have a comment here from YouTube. It's from my mom. Sabi niya, in marriage, there must be a symbiotic relationship, meaning there's a give and take within. And I agree. Yes, it's really, you know, it takes two to tango nga naman talaga. Right? It's not just one person trying to... Gusto ko yung word na symbiotic. Yeah, di ba? Gusto mo yan. Oh, Very oh. biology. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we agree. It really has to be two people working. And do not forget God, you know, as the center of the relationship. There are actually three in the relationship. And the third party should always be God and nobody else. Right? So, now that we have established the fact that, you know, divorce and annulment does not allow unhappiness as a ground for it, you know, for the marriage to break apart or to end, how do we fix the unhappiness exactly? Okay, we are now on the latter part of the discussion. We gave you the definition of marriage. We gave you the definition of unhappiness, the truths and the myths of married life, the signs that you are in an unhappy married uh, marriage. And then we also talked about the questions that you have to ask yourself should you be in that situation, the grounds for annulment and also for divorce. Now, let's go to the possible solutions. Because like what I said, we are not encouraging you to go through annulment and divorce unless the relationship has become completely and seriously abusive. Okay, if it's not just a rough patch, meaning to say it has been a persistent situation that is going in your relationship, then it is up to you to decide should you want to go through divorce or annulment. All right. Now, here are the ways on how to fix the unhappiness. First, you have to find the root. Second, communicate with a sober mind and a, and a sober heart. Third, you have to compromise. Fourth one, forgive and acknowledge. Next, give each other some time, which I think is very important. Spark the flames again. Be playful with each other. Pray together and then go through therapy and counseling. Sir Drew. I think the majority, if not the majority, na mentioned natin earlier on. Tunda <laughs> yeah, we yeah we just wrapped it all up. Um, maybe uh, the major takeaway for for this particular topic is that you need to understand that yes, uh, and that the both of you should work together. Um, in the midst that when nehirapan kana kasi alam mo yun sabi na wala kang wala kang pera pang example <laughs> and you have your current situation to deal with then maybe look a way to heal yourself to make yourself happier even though the circumstance is not giving you that kind of uh, that uh, those feelings uh, mm -hmm. at least uh, as you start to take care of yourself more at least you're closer to the next step sabi ko kanina um, get your life going. Go to the gym. Yep. Go out with your friends. Uh, learn a new skill. Uh, without you trying to build up with the resentment and the anxiety. And these might sound so easy to say. Sa sa end ko, dali lang sabi. But take note: these are really, really, really hard things to do. So please take it. Take the steps whenever you have to. Because it's important that um, we try to you you need to learn how to focus again focus yeah. on what you can con focus on what you can hold on to and maybe mm -hmm. sa pinakadulo kahit alam mong uh, your your marriage is no longer uh, happy you're trying to find ways or create new ways to be happy to reconnect once again, eventually both of you would win. Inaman siguri in Kurdanti Jan. Take notice the last part ko, both of you will win. Kasal parin kayo. Mibali parin ng mundo. Kasal parin kayo. Mibali parin ng alisin ng mundo. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Are we about to wrap up na? <laughs> Yeah, if you have any questions before we end the live stream, we're still entertaining them. We might possibly answer a, a question or two, no? Um, and we really appreciate those who stayed with us until this late. 
Oh, I know. Oh, that's not. I know. Uh, but this is like what you said, an interesting and a serious topic to to discuss and explore. And it, I hope we have, you know, somehow imparted a few. How do I say it? A few lessons or a few insights to our viewers. Kahit hindi po kami mga expert, I hope yung mga research na ginawa namin at saka yung mga thoughts na sinare namin sa inyo ay nakatulong sa inyo. So yeah, um, um, ako marami akong gusto talagang i-summarize dito sa discussion na to. For one, if you are a married person, do not be scared. Okay, to be vulnerable, to admit to yourself, to your spouse, and to your immediate family members, and even to your trusted friends that something is going on in your marriage and you need to do some fixing about it. Okay, huwag niyo pong ipagwalang bahala yung nangyayari to the point na kapag lumalim na yung sitwasyon, mas mahirap na siyang i-address. As much as possible, as early as possible, if something is going on in your marriage, you have to do something to address that, to find the solution habang maaga. Apart from that, um, siguro the best thing to look at it is this way. Um, try to recall the reasons why you married the person in the first place. Kasi for sure nung pinakasalan mo siya, you know, you, you had all the butterflies, you were really in love with each other. You dreamt about being together for the rest of your lives. Try to go back to that moment when you chose the person. Every day, kapag nafe-feel mo, I'm about to lose it, gusto ko na tong hiwalayan. Always go back to that first day when you fell in love with the person and look for the reasons why you fell in love with the person in the first place. Why you decided to marry the person in the first place. Okay? That's, what, that's another. And then the third thing is, Please do not decide based on emotions. Like, I am unhappy now. So let's divorce na lang. Let's file for an annulment na lang. Kasi I am unhappy eh. No, that's not how relationships work. Right? You don't decide based on impulse. You don't decide based on emotions. You consider a lot of things before making a big decision in your life. That person you're trying to... Um, Remove from your life is actually the person you chose to be your lifelong partner, your best friend. Diba? You made a vow in front of God. Through thick and thin, better, worse, sickness and in health, you will stick it out. It's a commitment. It's not just a piece of paper you that, that both of you agreed on. Okay? And apart from that, this is, will be my favorite. And it's also an advice I could give to myself. Lalong-lalo na kasi yung mga babae, very emotional. Pabago-bago nang nararamdaman yan. Minsan, menopause ka lang pala or you're on your PMS, feeling mo kailangan mo divorce or annulment. <laughs> but the truth is, you know, you're just emotionally unstable. Um, ito, lagi kong sinasabi to sa sarili ko. Since I've been married uh, for five years now, going six, and I tell you, five years weren't easy years. They were not easy years, I'm telling you. I cannot divulge all the you know, the details about my marriage, but I'm telling you, I'm just like you and everybody else who is married. And this is the best advice I could give myself and the other women out there who are married to, or even the males who are married to. Never ever make your happiness a sole responsibility of your spouse. There will be days that he will not be there. There will be days that she will not make you happy. Okay? So it's your responsibility 24-7 to also make yourself happy. Because if you are happy, you will be a happy wife. You will be a happy, happy mother. You will be a happy husband. You will be a happy father. And the relationship will be happy. If you are as a person, you are happy. I thank you. <laughs> thank you, Miss Philippines, for the wonderful question. You may uh -huh. not. <laughs> no, seriously though, seriously though. Wag mong iasa lang sa asawa mo yung kaligayahan mo, kasi may sarili lang buhay yan, di ba? Pero kung yung, are... yung yes, go ahead, sir. Yeah, I think uh, going back to you just. Uh, earlier on, uh, you have to respect each other's spaces. You have your space to grow, and your partner also has his or her space to also grow. Eventually, kapag nagsama na kayo, 
then okay, doon sa natutunan nyo sa um, space na kung asan kayo. It's that it's dynamic kasi. So, um, I would definitely agree with, with what you've said to me that huwag mong iasa ang, 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 ang saya, ang, ang happiness mo sa isa pang tao. You're, you're one who's, who, who strive for happiness. So, you, 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 it's your, it's under your own will, it's under your own struggle, it's under your own um, doing para ma-achieve ma- ma- mo yung state na maligaya ka. Yep. Okay. Kasi kung maligaya ka and that happiness overflows, it's easy to love your spouse, it's easy to love your children. But if within you, you know, something is lacking, something is empty, ay nako, it will be difficult not only for you but for everybody in your family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But again, going back, if your unhappiness roots from an abusive relationship, infidelity, alam mo yon, disrespect, uh, ano pa ba, yung mga grounds for divorce and annulment and everything else that might, ru- might ruin you as individuals na, then of course it's a different case naman. Yeah. Okay. It's a different case altogether. You just have to act on it na. And then a quick hello lang to, d- to those who just joined the live. Luap Nirva Gomez. Arvin, hello. Thank you for watching. And then si Ma'am Jel Martinez is also watching. And si Ate Tintin Pelayo Sagum is also watching. Joshua Romero also just joined the live. And Paolo Hilario. Ayan, medyo marami-rami yung sumasali kahit medyo paggabi na, no? Um, if you just joined the live po, we have talked about a lot, ano? We have talked a lot about uh, marriage and happiness, the difficulties and the challenges of being in a mar- uh, being in marriage, uh, and how to fix it. Divorce, annulment, eh, napag-usapan na po namin. Medyo naglalag na ako kasi 9.14 na. Ayun. Oh, uh, mm-mm. But yeah, that, that's basically what we are trying to point out here. That's why we created this live stream, you know. Um, don't be scared to open up the problems you have in your marriage. Find somebody, a trusted confidant. It could be your pastor, it could be a priest, a marriage counselor, your trusted friend, a family member, or the best person to talk to really if you're having a difficulty in your marriage is your spouse. Kayong dalawa yan. And then include God. Sa inyong dalawa. Alright. Wow, Sir Drew, this has been a fruitful discussion. I mean, of personally, ang dami ko rin natutunan. It's reflective. Actually, it, it, it does bring about so many things. Na at least na naliliwanagan tayo uh, to be better versions of ourselves. So, yun yung importante kasi sa mga ganito mga situations. You learn something to be a better version of yourself every single day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, ayun po, again, we are not encouraging you to go through divorce or annulment. Ayan, may bago na namang sumali. Sir Drew, hello kay Denver King David. Thank you for joining the live stream. Hello. Yep, going back, um, we're not encouraging you to go through or file divorce or annulment kung alin man po yung applicable sa inyong bansa. Um, like what I said, unhappiness is not a ground for either divorce or annulment. So, work it out. Talk to your spouse. Be honest about what you feel. Ano lang yan? Pagsubok lang yan. Lahat ng relasyon, lahat ng marriage, pinagdadaanan yan. Okay? Yeah. Even the most beautiful relationships need to go through some rough patch. Okay? But if, like what I said, if the situation keeps on persisting, talagang medyo unhealthy na to the point na nagiging abusive na, Ayon. Siyempre, we, do, we will not blame you or we will not judge you for taking legal actions regarding your marriage. Ayon. Um, like what I said po kanina, pipili po ako ng mga comments, advice, or opinions na nakakagilalas at napakagaling. <laughs> Wag kayong magbibigla kung i-message ko po kayo sa Facebook at hihingin ko ang inyong number dahil bibigyan ko kayo ng libreng load courtesy ni Mayora. <laughs> Nagpapasalamat po ako ulit sa mga I think we're already on 511 kanina 510 lang eh nakakaloka biglang tumaas ng isa. Ayun. I w- I already have 511 subscribers on YouTube and I'm really really Thankful. I appreciate po your trust and confidence in me. Thank you for subscribing. Salamat at pumapayag kayo every time na nangungulit ako mag-subscribe kayo sa channel ko. That is why naman I am doing my best to give you contents na may laman. Hindi lang po yung mga, alam mo yun, 
kung ano-ano lang, pinag-iisipan po talaga namin, especially sa tulong po ni Sir Drew, kung paano kami makakatulong <laughs> sa community natin. Now that we are, you know, amidst the situation, the pandemic, wala po tayong makausap, hindi natin makasama yung mga kaibigan natin. So, treat this platform kung saan pwede po kayo mag-share freely ng mga gusto nyong ibahagi. Diba? Don't be scared and don't be shy. Ayan po. So, thank you very much po sa mga taong nag-subscribe na po sa channel ko. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, guys, it's not too late. We are still on our road to 1,000, no? Subscribe po kayo. It's Learn With V. It's on YouTube. Wala naman pong bayad yon. Malay nyo po makatulong pa po ako sa inyo in the future. So, yun po. Thank you very much. Um... Like as promised last week, within this week, uh, kapag na-clear na ni attorney yung schedule niya, usapang legal po tayo. Within the week, hopefully, ma-clear po yung schedule ni attorney. And then Sunday, August 3, cyber security with a uh, cyber security expert. Ayan, uh, sa Sunday, August 3. Ayan. Sir Drew, you might want to say hello to your friends or whosoever. <laughs> um, 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 ano lang. Hello to everyone. I do hope you're all safe. Also, mag-apologize lang din ako if you know at one point in the live stream medyo nagbe-break yung line namin. We can't control it yeah. po. Kasi umulan dito sa amin at kanina ay umuulan din kina Sergio. We're trying our best to give you a seamless live stream but unfortunately technical issues happen and you know it's out of our control so I hope you understand. Forgive us for that. Also, uh, gusto ko ulit batiin lahat ng mga nasa Taiwan. Teka lang, nasaan yung aking kodigo? Baka magtampo sila. Ito, Far Eastern New Century Hoku Branch Taiwan Team C Worker. Ayan yung nanood sa atin na nasa Tondo, si John. Thank you. Yung nasa Japan, si... Uh, ha, naglalag na rin yung ulo ko. Yung utak ko. Hindi ko na... Yan, si Mami Marilyn Sato. Thank you po. My sister from South Korea. Medyo worldwide tayo. At syempre sa inyong lahat na nanonood dito sa Pilipinas. Maraming maraming salamat po. At nag-spend kayo ng time with us. Alam ko... You'd rather watch Netflix <laughs> than listen to our whatnots. But I hope we we were able to help you and give you know a, a thing or a two or or two to learn the night. Uh -uh. Just learn. Uh -uh. Lagna, lagna, lagna ako. Ano ba? ba? <laughs> Before we end the live stream, wag yun rin pung kakalimutan mag subscribe sa aking mga kaibigan sa YouTube, si Mamang Sen Galvez, at sa kakai Kuis, Juan O'Neil, kay Kim, anything with uh, anything with Miss Kim, ayan. So as much as we would like to stay, kahit po may mga bagong kadarating lang sa ating live stream, we have to say goodbye now. And like what I always tell you sa aking uh, page, I hope you learned a thing or two. Until the next episode of Ask V, Learn with V, here on Facebook and YouTube. Much love, lovies. Thank you so much. Have a restful evening and we'll see you again. Bye-bye. We love you. Mwah. Bye, Sir Drew. Thank you as always. You're awesome. Yep, yep. yep. Bye, everybody.